Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our official Grand Theft Auto 5 live playthrough. I am your host, the one, the only, Karaz Manic Let's get Enigma. This I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, staying sane, and most importantly, staying healthy. Greatly appreciate you all for joining up, hanging out, spending a little bit of your day here with me and the rest of the fam. I hope... You all have been having a great week. I really do because uh, it's been a really long week, at least for me. Um, again, another week where I did not get to do half of the things that I had planned. It was an extremely busy and an extremely stressful, exhausting week. Um, but I am so happy to be here, guys. <laughs> You guys have no idea. I do apologize for such a late start. I am starting super late. I had a lot of things I had to do before the live stream. Um, I was out and about. Um, and uh, now all my things are done. They're taken care of. So now we're going to be here in Grand Theft Auto V. We have a lot of things to do. And... And... We have a lot of things to discuss. Uh, not quite Grand Theft Auto related. Sorry guys, I'm going to make an adjustment real quick to the camera and stuff because it is somewhat in the way. Let's try to get it like the try not to get too much of the light get that there we go oh, see thing is like I had the camera set up in a certain way you know what I mean to be on this side and now I have to make the adjustment it is what it is like there's it's just going to have to deal with the way that it is because, you know, I like being able to get, like, all the memorabilia in the background, but <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, greatly appreciate each and every single one of y'all for being here, joining up, hanging out again, spending a little bit of your day, night, whatever it is for you guys here with me, and, uh, like I said, got a lot to discuss. And for all you guys across the pond, I do apologize for such a late stream. Because a lot of you guys are probably getting ready to go to bed. And you're probably like, damn, Charism. And really, yes, I'm so sorry. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back at our regular scheduled time. And then I'm um, planning on live streaming on Saturday as well to... Uh, you know, make up for a lot of lost time this past week. So we're going to live stream today, tomorrow, Saturday. I'm going to take Sunday off. We're going to take Sunday off. And then Monday we'll be back at it again too. Give me one second. It sounds like somebody's at the door. Give me one second.
Sorry about that. It was uh it was just it was my neighbor. He uh got some edibles for the first time. So he was kind of just like trying to feel me out on like his dosage and stuff and I was like, "I don't know, man. It affects everybody differently." So I just told him to start off with two and then if he doesn't feel anything, then maybe double it. That's normally what I do. You know, I'll start off with like whatever, depending on how many milligrams and stuff. Um, I'll start off with whatever number, and if I don't feel it, then the next time I do it, I just double it, and then I'll know. And if I feel it too much, then I'll take like one off or whatever. So, ah, so so sorry. We didn't even get into the chat, but I got the chat up. We got Gibbo here. What is up, Gibbo? He, oh, give man, we got a lot to discuss, my friend. Ah, uh, he says, give it to me, give it to me. It's Christian. That's right, my friend, dude. I hope you are doing well. I hope uh, you had a great week. I hope everything is good with you, my friend. Hopefully all is well. I greatly appreciate you for joining up. I know it's super late for you, but I greatly appreciate you for being here, man. Uh, there's so much to discuss. Just, you know, it, it's pretty wild uh, things to talk about, but we'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, Give us as I see you're wearing your RVD singlet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. One of a kind. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I I just had to, you know. I got the RVD eyes going on and all. <laughs> I'm sticking to the whole uh, RVD memento here. You know, it's an RVD appreciation day because it's about to be RVD day uh, next Saturday. So, hey man, and and. And, uh, I also have some news for you as well, uh, later on, uh, after we, we discuss everything, this. because I feel like it's going to be funny to do it the way that I said it to Nicole yesterday. <laughs> so, alright, anyway. He's at RVD, RVD, NVD. Nick, man, damn, dude, there was, my mom, I'm pretty sure she probably has it somewhere, I hope she doesn't, because it was super embarrassing, but there was a photo that she took of me and my brother, what, like, way back, like, 20 years ago, <laughs> of, like, me wearing a wig, because I was, you know, trying to be RVD. I was such a huge fan of RVD in that five-star frog splash. It was crazy. So my mom took a picture of me doing the RVD. So it's crazy that you say that. <laughs> Give <laughs> You liked it? You liked it? You liked the, the, the impersonation? My Nigel McGuinness? Alright guys, so this is, so, I didn't even get a chance to explain what we're doing today. So we're jumping into our official Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough. This is our official one. This is on the PlayStation 5. We got it going on now. We're officially in GTA 5. And we're going to 100% it. We're going to 100% it in our preparations for Grand Theft Auto 6. That's what we're going to be doing today. And also what we're, we're doing today is discussing some of the things oh, that went on this past enjoy. weekend this and yet. week. Give us says, I know it wasn't the best, but I hope you're well. Dude, it was, uh, dude, I love how you, the water, how this feels right now. Oh, dude, I love it. it feels good. Feels good. But yeah, dude, no, nah, I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you. My legs are killing this week. My feet took a brutal beating. Like, I, I popped some blood, you know, blood. I have some blood blisters on my feet because I was on them 
for a long fucking time this week. Or honestly, the past two weeks. So, I'm just glad to be here, dude. I just hope you guys are doing well. Dapper, what's going on? Dapper Yapper. Appreciate you for joining in, man. Hopefully all is well with you, Dapper. Oh, God. Let's switch to Trevor Phillips. Oh, that's right. I'm blocking the wheel. I didn't think about this. I should have probably put the camera right side over. Got him! But hopefully all is well with you, Dapper. Hope you had a great Easter. Man, Easter was a few weeks ago for me. But appreciate that. But yeah, no, it was it was all right. You know, I had to work, but wasn't bad. I honestly forgot it was Easter. Alright, R1, take cover. Well, I hope you had a great Easter, and I hope you're doing well, Dapper. I appreciate you being here, man. Give a RVD will be at the 420 collision, apparently. Yep. Yep. They scheduled him for that because, you know, it's, it's RVD day, bro. It's 420, baby. And then Dynasty the day after. And I think Dynasty's setting up to be a really decent pay-per-view, to be honest with you. At first, I wasn't... I kind of wasn't really planning on buying Dynasty. But last night, Nicole and I were discussing it. And I think we're gonna do it, dude. Because I'm I'm looking forward to the Young Bucks versus FTR, and I'm looking forward to Osprey versus Danielson. Like there's there's a couple matches, you know, and then Tony Storm's always like entertaining. I I mean that whole Mariah May segment last night, like oh my. Woo! Oh my. I loved it. But anyway, um but yeah, I'm I'm thinking about getting Dynasty. We got a window. And um watching that seems decent. Decent Move, Brad! Fucking A man. Alright, you guys ready? You wanna see? The uh, don't get in the car, Trev. There it is. They still got it. What's this say? This, this Tony sucks. Oh no, Tony Khan. I'm so sorry, but Rockstar has spoken. <laughs> Oh man, anyway. No, I'm sorry, Tony. I did it was just funny. It was right there. But anyway. Uh Josh, what's going on, man? Josh, appreciate you for joining in. Hopefully you had a great week, man. There's a streamer on Twitch that plays Fortnite and she is beautiful. Don't you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Gibbo says Reese. Reese. Dude, I love it, man. I love that song. I'm, dude, RVD, he's got it, man. He's still got it. You still got it. Damn right I did. Say what's on your mind, father. You did a Ric Flair. Yes, I did a Ric Flair. Alright, so... A lot has happened this week in the wrestling world, I should say. <laughs> um, so let, let, let's let's just get right into it, shall we? So last night on AEW Dynamite, the Young Bucks showed us the footage, the backstage footage of CM Punk and Jack Perry. Uh. From all in. Now, come on. I went into this with a completely open mind, like completely open. Like I wasn't on anybody's side. You know, I wasn't on CM Punk side, and I wasn't on AEW side. I was just going into this, like, all right, 
Now I get my opportunity to make my judgment purely off of what I can see. Because you can't hear anything. You can only see things. So you can only kind of speculate what was said. But, I mean, a lot had happened in that clip. And it was only like a minute, minute and a half long clip. And it, you, you can see a lot. You can see a lot. Now, I know a lot of people have, like, a pretty negative viewpoint about this footage. And I know people don't like it. But I, I like the way it was... The way it was done by the Young Bucks, like the way they played it, I think was done beautifully. Like making them to be the victim, not Phil, not Jack. Well, no, they they made Jack the victim. They straight up said he's the scapegoat in this situation. I thought that was hilarious. Which he kind of has been because, I mean, look, CM Punk, what, goes right to WWE, he has a job. Jack goes and gets suspended. He has to go to New Japan and start working. But I think, to be honest, that's for your best, Jack. You needed that. In my per personal opinion, Jack, you needed something to make you stand out. Because you your character was not there for me. Um, I'm hoping that when you come back, it, this could be done right. Which I think it will, because you're going to be with the EVPs, and I love their role right now. And that's why, like, people completely dismissed this segment with the Young Bucks. Everybody just went straight for defense of Phil. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like enough people watch that with an open mind or, like... I think everybody that watched it kind of was already had their mind wrapped around what they wanted it to be because that's what people do in the media. Uh, as we see with all these life events, you know, the narrative always gets twisted to what the people in the media want it to be. And everybody, because CM Punk a week prior went out and shared his side of the story uh, with You're no so NDAs intense. attached. He's a and he, and uh, to be honest, uh, after watching his and seeing his interview and everything, he kind of made it sound like what? he was like he a badass. Like, Not I put Jack Perry in a chokehold because Smoke my boss refused to do something game. about it, even though he's trying That's to run a mass show of 81,000 people. And what about you? Uh, you know? What about um... I don't know, man. I, I just feel like the footage that I saw. So this is, hey, I'll just break it down from them cutting into the footage. So when you get into the footage, I'm observing everything. I see what they call the gorilla position, where, you know, Tony Khan and the producers are sitting over on the side, which you can't see them, but you can see the monitors. So you could tell it's the gorilla position. Because the gorilla position is always like right before the talent walks out on stage in front of the crowd. So you got the gorilla position to your right. You got um, Hook over here on the left with Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is getting ready because him and Phil... Are the first like actual match on the all-in card. I gotta tell you, so you got them sure there, and then you got Jack me. Perry standing in the middle, oh, a sense of you know, looking down, vital part exhausted, and it. you know, Heavy I don't know. He kind of looked angry in a way. I don't know. I was trying to read Jack's demeanor because obviously you're trying to focus on Jack and Phil, so. You see Jack standing there, he's got his hands on his hips, he's like looking off into space, and then next thing you know you see him look up, and then next thing you know you got Phil walking in, probably running his mouth like all hot because of what Jack said 
out there, you know, look, real glass, wham, 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 cry me a river. Big deal, right? So then he gets in Jack's face. Jack, you know, you could tell is like talking back. Again, you can't hear what's being said. This is all perspective. You see Jack, be like going, you know, jawing back. He's flicking his hair backwards because you can tell he's like distressed, annoyed, pissed off. They get, you know, keep confronting one another, right? Screaming, whatever, however the fuck they're doing it, because again, you can't hear it. And then, uh, it gets physical, not the way that Phil made it seem. Now, Phil said that Jack approached him, and that Jack put his hands on him first. But that's not what the footage showed. The footage showed Jack Perry flicking his hair back, and even take a step backwards. And then that's when Phil put his hands on Jack. What you don't realize and then briefly like a, I would say for about two seconds at Jack Perry in like a side headlock and then like Samoa Joe and like a bunch of other people just came in and started to break it up Samoa Joe got Jack Perry off to the side to the left and then CM Punk or I should say Phil was being pushed backwards by like a couple guys and then you see him go at Tony Khan, because you, uh, like I said, Tony Khan is at the gorilla position on the right hand side of the camera. Now you can't see Tony, but you know he's there. And Phil goes after to after Tony Khan. Like if those guys were not there, Tony Khan probably would have got his ass whooped by Phil. Like I'm calling it as I saw it, because. Dude, that guy was heated. And this is why I say, I, I, cause I, I messaged Gibbo. I told him my side of the story of how I, you know, how I saw it. And I said how, uh, I could see how Tony Khan feared for his life. Because it, look, Tony Khan is probably about what? Five, six, a hundred. And I'm going to max it at 120 pounds. He's this little fucking string bean compared to this guy who's a professional wrestler who's in great sh great shape, at least in wrestling shape, who is going to whoop your ass. Like, let's be honest. Tony Khan, I don't think, could fight anybody. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you, he's a, he's a little guy. Like, But you can see... Phil, like, going at him. And if those two men, I think it was like Jerry Lynn and somebody else, if those two men were not there, Tony Khan would have gotten fucked up. Like, really fucked up. And being a guy that's been in confrontation with people, when somebody's in a frantic state, like how it appeared Phil was in at that point, being a guy his size and seeing a guy with a fucking rage in his eyes, and if he was really screaming at him the way that you... Phil says he looked at him and said, fuck you, you're a clown, I quit. That's not what that camera footage showed. There was a lot more said than, you're a fucking clown, I quit. It was, I'm going to beat your ass most likely, because he was trying to get to him to do something I don't know he was clearly going to put hands on Tony Khan now people I've been on the internet off and on because I, when I was driving around every time I would park you know I'd go on to respond to Gibbo and you know this shit has been that that's all my Twitter feed is I don't follow any of these people my Twitter feed is just nothing but it's 50-50 you have people seeing it for what they could see and then you got people just completely like no cm punk was completely right like fuck AEW, they should be embarrassed they should go out of business this that no i think the timing of everything is a little off 
I do think they should have probably uh, done, if they've really wanted to show this footage, they probably should have done it sooner. Probably before Phil Daddy. said his side of the story, because, you know, now the cult is completely one-sided and seeing it his John. way. And that's the only way. But I'm just calling it the way I saw it, you know, because I was just like, I, I wasn't just like, oh, my God, yeah, hell yeah. No, I was just like, all right, let's see what really happened. Like, I'm going at this and I'm going to really break it down. Like, I watched it a few times, like quite a few times, enough to, like, really break it down like that. And yeah, man. I just think everybody was wrong because AEW went wrong with when they started getting confrontational, somebody should have started to move in closer to like separate just if it did get physical. But at the same time, you're a bunch of grown ass men, like that should just, I don't know. It, it made me re have very little respect for Phil because it was just like man you tried to make yourself sound like the high school cool guy you know in your interview like yeah I did this and I did that and yeah it was just like that's not exact oh that's not exactly how it went people are like man he punk me Jack look like a little bitch I mean Dude, even if he did, like, dude, it, it's Jack Perry, man. Does anybody really care? <laughs> like, no. Okay. I'm, I'm just, like, more so shocked by everything. But I just want to move on from it, you know? that That's the other thing, though. Like, when, when Dax came out and Cash and they were sitting there saying, like, we're ta still talking about... I... Yes, we are, because Phil won't let it go, and clearly the Young Bucks don't want to let it go. And Tony Khan's not going to let it go as long as, like, it's still being talked about publicly. Tony Khan's the type that's like, if it's quiet, I'll stay quiet. But if people are going to keep talking about it and trying to make it sound one-sided, then he's going to chirp. But I think everybody just needs to stop it, it was eight months ago you know like we're almost a, coming up to a year now I think everybody just needs to let it go it happened punks over in WWE Jack is about to come back like can we just move on and focus on fucking new stories like I'm tired of the old shit the same old, same old, old shit from eight months ago. I just want AEW to focus on them and only them. I know the WWE couldn't keep your name out their mouth. All WrestleMania weekend, it was AEW this, AEW, 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 Will Ospreay. You know what I mean? Like, this is what they want. They want you to get off course because you're starting to pick up your momentum. But to me, it's like... Just stay focused. Keep your focus. And now that you did it, alright, now you can be like, alright, we got that out the way. Let's get back to the fucking... Let's get back to business. Like, if that's how they want to approach it, whatever. But I don't feel like this hurt AEW in any way. I know a lot of people are like, this is going to be detrimental to the AEW, and I'm like, no, it's not. I know people are like, well, there was CM Punk chants and stuff like that. So what? It was directed towards the Young Bucks. Now, if it was like during the whole entire program, that's all you heard after that footage was CM Punk. That's a bad look. But if it's only directed towards a group of people, then that don't mean shit. That means you got under the CM Punk fans' skin that they're just going to keep trying to taunt you. Like, it, they did exactly what they wanted. They're heels. They've got heat, and that's what it was all about, was getting heat on them 
and blaming FTR because they're friends with Phil. That's it. Anybody else wants to make it anything other than that, then you're reading too much into it and you don't know the product and just maybe tune in and fucking see the end game. But I'm telling you what the end game is right now. And I like how the Young Bucks did it. I'm so proud of them. Now those are my EVPs! Those are my EVPs. <laughs> but I just want it to be done, though. That's it. Like, all right. He said his shit. You said your shit. Now let's be done. <laughs> Move on. It's not... Now, here's another thing, too. It's not uncommon. So the, here's the thing. This is what bothers me, though, the most. Out of all this, like, shit-talking from, like, WWE and AEW. The thing that bothers me is the WWE fans. Like, the die-hard WWE fans are driving me insane with how AEW responds to all the fucking jabs and shit. But here's the thing. This shit's anywhere. not uncommon. I, I, that's not cool, man. I'm Cody Rhodes, when he when he was in all elite right wrestling, here. he He's always took jabs, man, right? People that didn't I care then. When Pepsi was in AEW and he would take his jabs at that, uh, you know, Stanford-based promotion. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> nobody <laughs> cared. Right you know, now those two guys, they shifted, real, they jumped man. ship, they're over in the <laughs> other place. Right, now all of a sudden stupid. people fucking care about the jabbing Money back and forth. Issue, eh? Money is Why? I say let Why it be. As long as it, you know, you know, there's like some kind of Look, man, payoff. Go. Now this kind it. of I'm pettiness, I don't want. But if you're going to have friendly little jabs like, you know, you're going to take a shot, like how we're accustomed to seeing, I'm all for it. I never hated it. But I say focus on your product, they focus on their product. That's the way I want it. I want it to be great. Great wrestling, but I don't think we can get it because we, as fans, ruin it. And then these promotions start focusing on the internet trolls and everything that they want and stuff like that. And they start catering to the internet. And just do your thing, man. That's that's all I want. Do your thing. But with that being said, <laughs> on other news, based off of the footage from last night, provided from my EVPs, from like All Elite Wrestling, sex, nigga. Nicole and I, during the show, had bought tickets to go to Collision on May 25th. So we are going to Collision on May 25th, and then we're going to Double or Nothing on May 26th. Alright, so sorry about that but I just needed to say like like explain to some people not sorry Gib I hope you don't take that wrong um just to the world like anybody that may tune in I don't know I, I kind of feel like somebody from AW2 <laughs> Kenny if you're listening <laughs> uh but anyway um yeah it, it's just a lot of shit. I didn't see TK's life being at risk, though. Sure, Punk and Perry had their stuff. Punk said what he said, but then Joe moved Punk. Then again, TK is rich and never been in a fighting environment, probably, so he got scared. No, 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 man, dude. That's why I wanted to explain, because he was the guy off to the side that we couldn't see that CM Punk clearly was looking to fuck up. So yeah, he did go at TK, and TK, I, I do feel his life was at risk because of him being so tiny. You know what I mean? 
But with all the bullshit, it kind of made me want to start up a fucking wrestling podcast. So that way maybe we could educate people on, you know, what's really happening in these situations instead of them trying to come up with the worst possible scenario to bury a company. Oh, no, they're burying themselves. That's right. I'm sorry. No, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Give up with the clapping. <laughs> Preach, Father, preach! I just want, I just want professional wrestling, man. I don't give a fuck about, like, all this backstage bullshit, man. I just want professional wrestling. And AEW does a great job at that. And WWE had a, an awesome WrestleMania weekend. Like, I, I, I tuned in through the highlights, and I thought it looked amazing. You know what I mean? Like... They're finally picking up, you know, I know people are going to be like, well, they had momentum. Yeah, sure, they had momentum in some kind of capacity. And yeah, you had all eyes on you because of the Vince McMahon debacle. So, yeah, I mean, you're an established company. So, yeah, of course, like, you're going to be able to fucking bob and weave through controversy a lot easier than a company that's on the rise and people are just constantly trying to bury, like... I don't know. I feel like AEW has all the tools to do it. It's just they need to just do it. And just maybe delete your Twitters and shit like that, dude. And just focus on your product because, uh, dude, we could have something super special going on if we could just focus on our own companies. I get you could be offended over an unnecessary... Like, for Will Ospreay, I can understand, like, you're hurt. Like, but you also got to look at it from Triple H's perspective. He's hurt because he thought he was about to get one of the world's top-tier talent in his company, and he lost out. So now he's bitter, and this is what bitter people do. They do shit like that. But the thing is, show him what he's missing. But the jab to me was like, it's not uncommon, you know? So I, I, I was okay with it because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> you only in your position, bruv, because of you banging the boss's daughter. <laughs> Which is facts, but... Grown-ass uh, grown bums on the internet arguing over companies that don't give a shit about them. I cringe even when I joke about it. I feel you on that, Gib. I, I cringe at myself, like, as I'm fucking doing it right now. I'm feeding into all the fucking cringe. But I'm trying to educate people as well into what this scenario really is and what that footage was really supposed to do. And for me, it worked. Because I saw it for what it really was supposed to be used for. I just wanted it to be over with, though. Like, I feel like it was unnecessary. But I also... I get it from the storyline perspective. Because I was trying to wrap my head around, like... Where it made sense for Tony Khan to say, like... This is gonna help build Dynasty and stuff. Okay, well, yeah. Well, with this feud, now you're going to... You know blame everything on FTR because they're friends with Phil. Down, um. the market, my boy. Is a bitch. That's great. Get Looking forward so to it. Should be great. I wish right, they bought their weekly change. shows here like my company comes here. They're coming on the 19th. <laughs> Dude. No, I... I if... <laughs> If all goes well, man, you know, you might see me on on uh, camera like John Moxley's there. Like my seat will be right there. That you you will not. But I I really wish that AEW would you know do weekly shows and spend like two weeks. I mean they spent a whole month in Canada, so I think they should spend two, maybe three weeks over in the UK. And fucking give you guys some awesome fucking wrestling matches, man.
Week long stay, dynamite. Wednesday, meet the fans, collision on the Saturday and all in Sunday, but nope. Gotta go to some random ass town on a Saturday night. Man, dude, I, I agree with that. They should have made it a week long thing. Like when they did it in Vegas in 2022, like it was the return to Vegas since the inaugural year, they did Dynamite, Rampage, and then Double or Nothing. But this year they're not doing uh, Dynamite out in Vegas. They're doing it in California. And then they're doing Collision and Double or Nothing. And I'm like, what, what, what? Okay. Like, weird. Alright, so we're doing this playthrough too. I get very chatty sometimes, but that, that's how we start off these live streams, though. I like chatting with you guys. Sometimes I don't like to just jump right in, and since we, like we all know what happens with Grand Theft Auto, we've we've done all this before. Here, we we know about you, uh, Franklin. This is for you. Like where the fuck is Highland Heights? I am from. Ah, sir, what are you doing? <laughs> that was not safe. Okay. I have no idea where that is. Random as hell, but nice. Oh, that's why I gotta go through the back. You even think of Random as hell, but nice to see a go go on TV. Shame Shane Taylor promotions are irrelevant, though. Jericho and Hook, though. I know, dude. I honestly was, uh. Like paying bills and shit during that match. Unfortunately, I feel bad for a go go that he keeps getting stuck with like irrelevant people. <laughs> Give him neutral, but grind line was cringy though, man. Anyways, now you've said what you've wanted to say, just move on. Exactly, man. Exactly, and I'm hoping that that's where they're all at at this point. Like, y'all said what you had to say. Now let's focus on professional wrestling and giving our fans like what they deserve hey, what's up, Simeon? I actually watched Dude, both Lord, Nights so of Mania and watched Raw so live good. never thought I'd oh, say yeah. that again but yeah, look, man. hey ho I actually enjoyed it so I'll probably watch WWE again and see what happens nice man I'm glad to hear that I uh, keep I keep up with it on the toxic Twitter you know because you only get like 40 yeah, minutes of wrestling ball, anyway, so you can watch it all on Twitch. Twitter. Look, man, it's been a Especially Jade Cargill, I, you know, I thought they said that she wasn't going to be in 30 second squash, squash matches, but yet, here she is. 30 second squash matches, I see things just never change with Bill Goldberg. <laughs> Too much wrestling will be jarring for me though. But they're actually yeah. proven that it's changed very early. But I'm enjoying the triple nose regime so far. But I pray this annoying tribalism ends. Dude, brother, same here. I'm hoping that these past two weeks, this is all it is. And we can just move the fuck on. But you know, the internet trolls, it's, not, it's never going to end, man. It, it's just... People just can't ever have things and enjoy it. It reminds me of this woman. Her name's Angelina. She's on this show called Jersey Shore. You know, every time good things happen for her, she always looks for something negative to just ruin the moment. And that's what I feel like wrestling fans do. Like, we get all these great things like WrestleMania was fucking fantastic Maybe finally Monday Night Raw was Simeon really good you know as to like last year Monday Night Raw after Mania was a dud this year it wasn't because you actually got somebody in charge that knows what they're doing you know what I'm saying so you're finally getting these good things AEW's finally improving like their their attendance is actually getting better and then you get this and it's like ah. Oh, can we just feed off of the positive things? So I'm going to be taking a break from Twitter, like scrolling for a little bit there because 
But now it's all Dude, starting to make sense. I, I can't be around such tox a toxic environment. And that is that is Twitter right now. I can't do it, man. Like I said, I don't even hey, follow these people, the but I'm being force fed him. this shit and it shit. sucks. Yeah, that was him. J. Cahill, my man Jay, how the hell are you and how the hell you been? Hopefully you're doing well, Jay. Hopefully you had a great week, man. Or are having a great week so far. Greatly appreciate you for joining in, man. I know it's super late for you, but uh, we're here, brother. Man, I'm good now that I'm off, Jay. I had an extremely long, stressful, exhausting week, but I'm putting it behind me, and I am starting anew, baby, because we are live, and we are playing some Grand Theft Auto V. I'd send me the funny dude, though. It's going to be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack and fall this shit. What the fuck you talking about? Oh! I'm so sorry. <laughs> My tire it hit the guy in the head. I knocked him out. I'm so sorry, sir. Just call an ambulance. I'll pay the bill. I don't know why TK didn't stack it up because he should at least know that people would tune in as the main hook is the footage, but he should have stacked it to gain fans, but what do I know, LOL. Yeah, I feel like the card itself wasn't great. I still enjoyed some of the moments and stuff like that. Um, I, 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 if, it's like you said, I would have stacked it a little better as well. But. You know? We'll, we'll see what happens uh, next week. You know, the Wednesday before uh, the pay per view. Let's see if they could build some kind of momentum. You know, regain momentum, I should say. Because, yeah, of course, because of all the negativity that came out of it, like... I don't like this shit one bit. They'll be okay, though. I feel like they'll be okay. They just need to just focus on what's important here. And, and the other company is not important. And not at least in regards of the shit talking to you. Like, that shit's irrelevant. Like, who cares? Like, if you really want to show a company what's up, you just fucking outdo them by putting on great wrestling matches, you know? Hello there. Highland Heights, like, come on. The most iconic wrestling town ever. Dude, I... I don't know my... my shit, man. I'm sorry. I don't know my shit. And I, I'm 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 bad at shit like that, especially when I'm forced, you know, to popular cities like Chicago and New York and stuff like that. I'm gonna kick him. No, I don't need the covered, bro. No, kitty, get out of here. All right, cinematic, baby. Woo! All about the boom. Got him. It is a legal repossession. No, they ain't. You know what? I am. Got him. No, I'm breathing. Keep breathing. Man, we only came here for a bite. And that motherfucker is right there. Ah, damn! I didn't do it this time. I've one time was a I I shot him right there. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need you to follow. Am I sitting on my phone? Come on! 
Lamar, we're gonna lose him. Get the fuck out of the car, Lamar. Just kidding, homie. I wanna get paid. Ah, San, what's going on, San? Appreciate you for joining in, San. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. Appreciate you for joining in. Shut up. I can't help it. When I watch professional wrestling, all they do is do the blame game, so I, uh, that's all I know, man. She, I missed my turn. So I'm doing really bad right now. Hold on. Watch this. He ain't getting away. Shut up, Lamar. Just enjoy. He ain't gonna get away. Come here, bitch. See? Holy shit. Dude, he was in the air <laughs> for so long. Yes. All right, I got the bike, son. Watch wrestling live plug if you know you know. I unfortunately don't think I know Gib. <laughs> think I'm I'm out of the loop on that one maybe. Is that like a Twitter handle? Or is that a uh, a website that I can watch professional wrestling? Because I was unable to watch uh, WrestleMania because I was at work. So I had no way to watch it. Oh, God. Nick, I just finished Blackwater with shotguns on my own. Holy shit. It took me over two hours, but got there in the end. But I had to use a bow for the wagons, but I found a great spot. Now, anytime playing solo. Oh shit, JK Hill, brother! Dude, that's so cool, man. Congratulations. That is dope, man. I almost played Red Dead, but considering how late it was, I wasn't really sure like who was gonna be up and I didn't want to keep you guys up too late. So I figured I would just do a playthrough of GTA 5. But that's awesome, Jay. Congratulations, man. Uh, Gibbo says, minus Copeland and Penta, who really needs a storyline for fuck's sake. Yeah, that guy is amazing. Uh, and Mother May. It was whatever. Dustin and Joe was meh. Uh, dude, last week when Dustin, you know, said or challenged... Joe, I knew that match was going to be pretty mid. You know, I was like, oh, man, really? Like, Dustin, no disrespect, brother, brother. Like, seriously, I, I mean this with no disrespect whatsoever. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling Dustin. Just not feeling Dustin. But my God, how about... Mariah May and oh, oh boy oh boy I felt like a teenager all over again <laughs> uh. Jay says glad you guys keep him well hell yeah Jay I'm glad you're doing well glad that you were able to uh, conquer Blackwater Given us the, all the hopes that we need, I knew I know we could do it, man. It's just we keep getting unlucky in certain situations, you know. I just need to focus a lot better than what I've been, and I think uh, we'll be fine. Saying so I was doing Doomsday Heist. Nice. I was being sarcastic, LL, but I saw it's in Kentucky. Some American town have some cool names. No, some of them do, yeah, yeah. 
I like some of these things and spots, but uh, it's just the media over here just is toxic. But because people like to spin narratives their own way, but I'm sure that's everywhere, but. I heard of one called Wilkesboro. Wilkesboro. Oh yeah, dude. Almost. Yeah, whatever. That one, I, I forget where that's actually at. But yeah. Do you need two or more players to do the Doomsday Heist? Saying. Says he was on PC. Why need to pay for shit when you've got Watch Wrestling Live? You got everything there, lol. Watch wrestling live. I'm gonna hey, have to. This quick. I got dude, I'm to gonna do. have to remember that. You need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. Does it lag a lot on there, or is it pretty smooth? Or it, I'm pretty sure right, it, it just depends going? on your Trust internet, the right? UFC, oh, Ring of Honor, man. WWE, TNA, AEW, you we name it. Damn, really? Shit, okay. Gib? Shit, your ass must be high, son. I appreciate I told you. you. I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But Second I'm is well played, Jay. Franklin, your eyes don't They lie. only did that what match because of Cody Come winning. On. Yeah, 100% agreed, man. Dustin is just whatever. I didn't get what they were trying to do. I, he, honestly, I feel like Dustin, because he's always there every fucking week, because he's one of the coaches and, you know, all that. I feel like he's just a filler. And, damn it, dude, my fucking nose hairs. Not nose hair, my mustache. I need to trim this shit tonight. Dude, this is bothering me. But I, I just feel like Dustin's just like uh, a filler. And then, yeah, like, because Cody was going for the title, they were like, all right, well, let's have Dustin go for the title, but... Come on, man. Great spot on top of the high building facing the bank. You cannot be hit from most, and they have to climb up the ladder to get to me, but it was very slow. Okay. I like it, Jay. Vehicle 29, come in. This is so, high building no, facing the bank. I think I know where you're talking about. I think I tried to put one of the NPCs up there. But, you know, he died still because NPCs just don't save their ammunition for another round. They just constantly waste their ammunition. <laughs> oh, no. I got caught in the middle of a reload. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. May got Tony Storm and that stardom chick. I think they need to improve in introducing these people because they don't even get a reaction until a kiss. It's because I think most of these people aren't even known. Like, I think a lot of these people don't even know who they are. I only knew who that chick was because uh, Nicole showed me a clip okay, I've seen JB do this from uh, Instagram sure on Mariah, like down. Mariah May and posted something on Instagram right? with this mm. about this chick. So that's the only reason why I knew who she was. I, I was like, oh damn. Back it up nice. Oh damn. I was like, well, I would watch that OnlyFans scene if that was ever released. <laughs> okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. I'll send you a link, brother. Yes! Give all you the shit, man. Yeah, because, like, it sucks because, like, if, if my buddy Chris is working, like, he has his laptop. So and like we watch I've been trying to branch out. Uh, the pay-per-views and I'll tune in sometimes like I watched the Royal Rumble that way but he was um 
on a different shift than me. So I, I was like, damn, dude, I'm going to miss Mania. But I'll, I'll try to keep up with it through highlights on, on toxic Twitter. Cause I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars Trying to finish the wave on their own. <laughs> Dude, he was. Alright, so I, I think, like I said, man, I think I know what you're talking about. I should have stayed over there. And, um, yeah. Maybe like the early rounds. Oops. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. But yeah, dude, I think it's a great spot for the ladder rounds. Now, so I'm gonna try to remember that next time we play. Maybe we'll play on uh Oh man, I'm I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to look at my schedule again. There was a glitch in the Doomsday Heist? Really? What kind of glitch? Oh, so now you Thanks, Gibbo. It's fine for me when I watch it live. But as I watch it the day after because of the time difference, it's great. Oh, okay. Damn, dude, my nose. I cannot stop scratching it. I'm so sorry if I keep hitting the mic, guys. The only negative thing about having a fucking mustache. I still never done the Doomsday Heist yet. I know, Jay. I have to, uh... I have to sign in and, like, the PlayStation 4 version and do that. I'm gonna have to retransfer it. But we, we will have to do that. Like, man... I'll figure that one out too. Because I, I did promise you that, man. I want to hold up to my end of the promise. Yeah, I don't like to promise things and not deliver, you know? Hi, Tanya. Aw, uh, girl, you got a flat ass. Like, who the fuck gonna be looking at you? you hate Nobody. You meth head looking. Anyhow, let's go back and uh, let's um. Should I go do? Uh, let's go do a Franklin mission. Fuck it. Let's go do a Franklin mission. I'm not parking in my driveway. A 30 second video package goes a long way in my opinion. I wasn't interested until the moment. Oh man, I had a feeling I knew it was going to happen. I was actually kind of excited. I wasn't expecting the whole like sparkling water shit, but you know. Uh, I was hoping there would be some kind of uh, you know, a love a affair much. here. I have no idea how you cope. Got my agency yesterday and done the VIP contracts for the first time. Good fun. I need to buy the nightclub just to upgrade my oppressor. Ooh. I mean, it's fun owning a nightclub, too. I like starting up our uh, online live streams in the nightclubs. It's just, I don't know, it's a nice, it's a nice place, man. We are women and we are free. Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to. Hey, hey don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got. I mean, she. But that's awesome, well. Jay, man. The agency. Come with. We gotta go pick up. Those are they, those are pretty, pretty decent, man. It's been a long time since I've done anything with the agency. Around the block with chop. You need to walk with your fat ass. Do you think those moments are long enough, or does it need to be longer? Oh no, those those moments need those ones in particular need to be longer. you always was the easily distracted motherfucker.
Because those Mariah Mae moments, man, are definitely uh, memorable. She's definitely leaving a, uh, a, a stamp on, on AEW for sure. A Mariah May. Mwah. She's doing great, man. She's a hard hitter. I, I think Mariah May is pretty entertaining. I'm just curious to see, like, how long they draw this out with her and Tony Storm before she turns. Like, when do you think Mariah May goes for the women's title? You think it's at Wembley Stadium since she's from London? Jay, those Franklin and Lamar missions are great. Oh, dude. The, um. What are they called? The short trips. Oh, the short trip missions are dope as fuck, man. How many times have we done those, Gib? We've done those quite a bit. Those are awesome. Streams for life. Got to make it French next time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was hoping it was going to go that way. I was like, whoo. They're like, nah, if you want to see that, you got to sign up for our OnlyFans, babes. But I wouldn't say that they go wrong all the time, neither. Not as wrong as they could. I ain't dead. But I ain't rich, neither. Should have all the business products ready for delivery next time. Plus, with bonuses, should get more money. Hell yeah, dude. Are you uh, available? What did, I, what did I say to you in message? Uh, Monday, right? Are you available Monday? Chopper free spirit. He bark all he like. Yeah. Okay. It's like pre reading Sand's message. Oh shit! So Sand was saying that uh, during the Strongberg mission, when he parked. Hey, I know you try that When him and the person parked in the marker, it still told them to wait. So you both were there at the same time? I'm destroying this van right now. Uh, give us this, I reckon, August, but I'd love to see a triple threat between Tony Storm, Mariah May, and Jamie Hayter when they come back here. Ooh. Ooh, that would be a fantastic match. Make it happen, Tony. Make it happen, Mr. Khan. You shouldn't have to fear for your life this year. Ain't there a law against you, Mark Gas, Gates' insignia, Maz wearing motherfucker? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, nigga? Oh, shit. Uh, JK Hills is, yeah, good fun, Gibbo. It's like a new content for me. Dude, that's awesome to hear, man. See, that's what's great about, like, for you, Jay. Like, these things are brand new for you. But you know what? For even us longtime players, too, like, if you haven't done it in a while, it brings back the memory of the first time, so. Jay, I'm so glad to hear that you're having fun with it, man. I think you would really enjoy the Doomsday Heist. So, I say we should really set it up someday soon. Going down this road. 
We should really do it sometime soon. I just gotta figure it out because, like, my work schedule's so weird, you know. Woo! There you go, Frankenberry. Oh. Adrenaline in my soul. Ooh, that was. That was tight. Oh! Get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Franklin, hurry up! <laughs> I speak for us when I say we would definitely pay for the French pay per view. <laughs> definitely would pay for the French pay per view. Yes! 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 Take a bite out that motherfucking chop. Go get him, chop. How do you climb? I'm new at this. How do you climb? Alright, let's be cool. Let's be cool. Slide! Watch this chop through the fence! Yeah. Oh man, I should probably turn the captions on. I, I've gone this long and I haven't even turned the captions on. Hey, come here! Stop! Stop, damn it! That's the time I'd happily pay double, honestly. <laughs> God. Dude. Yes. Yes, Gib, I agree. Uh, let's see. We're now playing as Chop. Yeah, I think you said Monday. Alright, cool. Sounds good, man. I'm definitely down for that. Do like six to seven deliveries, bunker, cargo, races, and stuff. Stack it up. Fuck yeah, man! We're gonna give you an action-packed show from start to finish! You will not wanna miss it! We in this together, Chop. Let's go! It was two players? Oh, okay. So then, yeah. Gonna have to do the Franklin and Lamar again? Dude, fuck yeah, man. That was so much fun. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. I forgot to close the blinds. Where are you at, bitch? Let me at him. Let me at him. Stop running, dog. Like uh, was asking Jay, do you have the bunker? Uh, nobody in here. Where's he at, chop? Show me the way. Is he in here? He's in here. Chop, he's in here. Hey, Chop, I can smell I can smell the weed, man. That don't look like no ballers OG to me. Chop! What are you doing? You better not be fucking when I get there, Chop. Chop. Whoa. Shit, Chop. Man, Chop. Get out that Chop. Chop. You filthy motherfucker. Chop. Oh, respect for your enthusiasm. Okay, bro. man. Okay, man. He, he's time, watched Chop. Franklin do doggy style a little too much. Lamar show ain't been Not yet. Gibbo got everything except Back that. Fat motherfucker, Chop. Shit. You a mean motherfucker, yeah, dude. Man. Let's go. The bunker's pretty nice, too. Apparently, if you do, like, a certain amount of, like, restocking missions, I think it, it is. Like... Get a dog, nigga. Oh, There's like a secret alien mission you can do. It's, I've seen videos of it. I've never done it. So. Hey man, get over here. Oh shit. 
What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CGF. Because maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the man? Fuck the fan, punk? Shit. Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Fucking oh, idiot. Shit. I said Go. I had no beef, man. Shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, man, what the fuck? You, get this fucking dog away from me. Come on. Fuck. An all London women's triple threat. Hey, gonna gonna have to do job, it, or I'll get father on you to threaten your life. It's double or nothing, we get we Christian friend. Cage. God damn it, Tony right. Khan! Shut up, man. How Wait, dare you not give I knew it was you the people what they want? You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot. You gotta. You, you always gotta, gotta give them what they want, Tony. This isn't the company that I came and wanted to establish. The company I came to gave the people what they wanted. They want Jamie Hayter versus Mariah May versus Timeless Tony Storm. You better make it happen. Or believe me, I will give you a kill switch. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, give me that damn Get out of here. What the fuck? Fuck you. Bunkers decent I just got all the research products. Businesses are Remember good for dog? the income. How oh, are you shat? This is bullshit. Take me down the cut. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I was getting us paid. What the fuck? Is oh yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? That'll man? prevent him from talking. A good phone. Just remember that, boy. Just remember that. It's too late. Shit's done. I'm gonna go tell that Strizet. Nigga, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty, old precious motherfucker. This is what I mean, homie. We need to get and stop. This shit ain't work. I'm gonna go get the fucking light out of my eyes here. Cops gonna be on your ass too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. Ah. Go on. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you my sizzle. Okay. That should do it. Don't look at me like that, kitten. Don't look at me like that. I had to do it, girl. It was right in my eyes. It, it wasn't going to work out like that. Now it's just like, you know, we're good. It's not in my eyes, it's on my chest. Say it with your chest. Sounds good fun. Oh, dude, it, it's... It's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> So who are we having on that French pay-per-view? Let me hear. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Man, you know, th there's quite a few, but um, listen. They have their French pay-per-view all the time. Apparently, Tony Storm hosts the best key parties, so uh, we just we just need to find the footage. You know, I'm sure the footage is out there somewhere, but we just gotta find it. I'm I'm pretty sure almost everyone in the uh, AEW locker room, like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two, all those ladies three, might be. the fuck? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My auntie's being really weird. Better than getting like $2.58 in Red Dead Jay. Oh my god, yeah, it's true. Dude. Ooh. 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 I'm trying so hard to push the fucking... Facial hair down, guys. I'm so sorry about this.
I don't have any just straight up t. Oh, that's right. They have t-shirts in their own category. No! I want my hoodie! I wanted the t-shirt. Oh, I guess it just comes with... Oh, okay, never mind. Pants. Oh, I gotta go buy pants. Never mind. Damn, dude. Spike... It doesn't help either, because Spike's hair... He's shedding, so his hair is everywhere. Like I think that's what it was, dude. Shit. Here I'm blaming my own facial hair, and it's Spike that's fucking causing my nose to itch. That and my allergies are through the roof this week too, man. The pollen's so bad right now. Okay. Like, look at all this hair, dude. I don't know if you guys can see it, but damn, Spike. It's like, it's like I just want to be with you at all times. Okay, actually, you know what? Do I have a hat? Sorry, my light is in the in the way. Oh, that's all I have. No, we do we. How much money we got, Frankie? Well, let's go outside. Oh, that's, I'm so used to Red Dead. No money. No why? You can't not have any money. Oh, three hundred twenty-eight dollars. Okay, I was gonna say no. Very wrong. All right, let's go get a hat real quick. Uh, Gibbo is asking. I forgot to ask you. What did you think of Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns match from Sunday, and the tag team match? Rock did well. I heard Philly was cold as fuck. He was wearing trousers to the ring. Oh well. Yeah, that's why I was honestly surprised that they were going to do it at Lincoln Financial Field. Just because, like, April, it's still pretty cold. Like, it doesn't warm up in Philadelphia until about, like, late May. Maybe, actually, sometimes not until, like, mid-June to the end of June. Does it start really warming up in Philadelphia? So I was very shocked by that, but... I guess when you're moving around and you're wrestling and stuff like that, you're not really going to care. It's probably going to feel good to you, but... I honestly, of what I saw through the highlights, I, I think the match looked fantastic. Um, and um, <laughs> I thought they did a really nice job with it. You know, the Undertaker joining in in the match was a little bit random to me, but hey, man, he's a fucking icon in this world. I'm stuck. I'm not like doing that to be an asshole. I was like really stuck. <laughs> Even though he deserved it. And thanks for the ammunition too. But yeah, no, I thought they did a really nice job with it. You know, I I predicted it to go the other way, but you know, I am happy for good. Damn, my nose is so red now. That's terrible. Um. No, I, I, you know, I'm happy for Cody. You know, he finally was able to finish one story and now start another. So, What's congratulations up, to Cody. The Chuck tag team match looked like it was pretty cool. decent. Yeah, man, it's cool. She's the best place for Honestly, when I saw Cody like sitting in the ring after the tag oh, team shit, match, I knew right. that Cody was going to win on night two. I was like, well, all right, well, judging by that, I guarantee Cody wins the belt now. 
And then, uh, yeah, I saw him win, and I was like, ah, well. Hey, man, congratulations. WrestleMania did look really good. I need that French show in 4K like. I'll take black and white scene if needed, Tony. <laughs> yes. Gib. Yes. Later. Dude, I would even, yeah. I would watch it in black and white as well. Holy shit. Is there no clothing shops unlocked yet? I guess clothing shops are not unlocked. Okay. Never mind. Don't say, dude, I should have seen one by now. Alright. Well then. Frankenberry. I drove all this way. Just to realize that we have no clothing stores. Sorry, man. I made you seem like a mark. Three D would be better, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you know what would make it even better? Virtual reality, baby! <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Now oh, I need to calm down. It's getting really hot in here. That front show in virtual reality, holy shit. Holy shit, I don't think I could handle that. Man, my nose is so red. I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer over here. I don't see them going back to Philly again, but Lincoln Financial Field will be a huge moment in wrestling history. Four years or so. Rain ending there will be talked about for years. I don't see anyone else doing it. I mean, yeah, it'll always go down as a huge monument. I mean, the story finishing there, you know, there was, there was quite a few moments. Definitely. A lot of the Eagles players looked like they enjoyed themselves. Seeing Jason Kelsey there, I saw the highlight. Him and Lane Johnson. And then I saw Jordan Maialata, somebody I predicted that would be there. Jordan Maialata was there in attendance. He was just watching it from the booth. And then he was watching it on the floor. Like, dude, he looked like he had a great time. Seeing his reactions was priceless, too. I was like, man, all right. Like, this is what I was hoping for, you know? Because if WWE's doing good, it's going to force AEW to do good. If AEW's doing good, well, unfortunately, it seems to be bringing out pettiness and all from both sides, and it sucks. Anyway, we're not going to get back into that rabbit hole. Uh, honestly, just counting down to the days until he gets booed. Character-wise, is boring, but good for the guy, though. He's always been classy, and he gets to work with one of the most famous people in the world. I mean, true, 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 true. Like I said, I'm not huge on Cody Rhodes, but he I does seem like a genuine good person. And, you know, good people do deserve good yourself, things. And I'm just happy for him, man. Like, Listen, man, me and that Triple H is actually taking oh, him seriously sure. as, like, Vince You'll McMahon didn't. And, you know, boy. Triple H and it kept his the word. And it, it makes so me happy, you know? Especially considering they were going to only do Rock and Reigns, but business must be good. Hell yeah, man. No, they're going to do Rock versus Reigns at another time. I feel like they've realized, like, they didn't have to do the Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Like, it didn't need to be that. Like, that didn't need to be the big selling feature there, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm proud of it, though. Like I said, you, you can be... One of those people that watches both, uh, no matter what internet trolls say, you can watch both products and be genuinely happy for both companies to succeed. So it makes me happy, Gib, to hear that like you really did enjoy it. 
I just, I don't, I don't have enough time in the world to watch both products, so I have to keep up with it through social media. And then I just tell Nicole, like, what happens and stuff, and if she seems interested, then, you know, I'll show her the clip, and if not, then, yeah, I'll just keep it to myself. Okay. Michael, I'm coming for you. VR. Immediately when Kelsey and Johnson came with the mask, I had to tell you. Dude, no, I'm glad you did because I, I had a feeling like he was going to be there in the part of it somehow, some way. So I'm glad you did, man, because it definitely made me keep up with checking out the product. And I was just really happy to see that it was a great show. I think it's great they get that city's team's players on board. Yeah, dude. I had a feeling like Lane Johnson would do something when I saw that he did a workout with Seth freaking Rollins. But I think that's awesome too, man. That was That was dope. I also like that Rock will stick around for a while, even uh, even with breaks in between. I assume no they'll go with Cody and Rock in Saudi Dead or SummerSlam, or they have Roman versus The Rock uh, at SummerSlam. But I, I presume that they will have that one go at Survivor Series. Like they'll just have like a lot of build up. But yeah, I think The Rock versus Cody at, in Saudi is probably most likely it, what's bitch. going to happen. Or do they do a rematch, Cody versus Roman, and then that's wow. like when The Rock screws over Roman, but it'll be like accidental, and then the next thing you know, like I don't care if you're twelve, it, I'll it's still rape you. that's what sets up the feud. At one of those events, like that, I feel like Roman's going to go for a rematch. <laughs> And the, it, somehow The Rock's going to screw it up. To be honest, I'm not working now. So I've got plenty of time for the next couple of months. Once I start again, time will tell. <laughs> no, dude, like, I'm happy that you're able to do it, man. Because I, I value your opinion, Gib. Yeah, I know you're not going to steer me wrong. And if you're telling me, like... It's gonna be um, that it's looking pretty good. Like, you know, I'll just keep following. Philly Eagles colored mask. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, dude, they had the Eagles colored mask and all, dude. Like, it was dope. Such a cool moment. Like, Jason Kelsey, you you retire from football. And then you get to have a WrestleMania moment. Like, that's so fucking sick. Like, Jason's living the life right now, man. I wonder how his wife reacted to that. Jason, I'm glad to see that you remembered to wear jeans. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This As Punk once job. said, Unlikely. Considering my son just got Oh, the dude. And get the way you're going about this, my guess, a blood money cover, and you know what? <laughs> Be serious, dude. I loved, though, how the Young Bucks quoted CM Punk with the whole, yeah, like... We'll I believe so someone once said really that works. if you have a problem we'll with Jack Perry, most likely you're, you're the problem. And I'm like... The <laughs> they did Jimmy not you? just say Look, that. <laughs> uh, EVPs, worry. man. They Mr. play the role Terry so well Lord that it makes you wonder if that's how their personality in real life because sometimes you know they do say like if that's what you do hey man it's Jess up here okay stop the car pull up that's why like Britt Baker being a heel always worked out best because you know 
people say she's really a bitch, right but I don't know. I heard from other people that she's actually really nice. Uh, as Pung was saying, go suck a blood money covered, you know what. <laughs> a purple pickle. That's right, a blood covered purple pickle going in! Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. Thanks. I need the money because I'm going to go buy a new hat. If I like this hat. Hey, Mr. Yetarian. You trying to swing on me, sir? It's going to make this ass whooping a lot be uh, worse. Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist. He said that to the Miz a year ago or so back when he recovers. He'll go there to go get that shit. Fragile body. Fragile ego. Fragile mind. Exactly. Exactly. And to me... The footage showed all that. That kid might be a fucking idiot. It's just like, no, he Punk didn't lie in the regards to like, yeah, he put Jack in a headlock and he made him look like a little bitch, sure. Don't make me have to come back here. But everything else I feel like was You know. To make him seem like a victim, but the, what I could tell it is that's I don't know. It, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but John Moxley said it best, man. And that that is the truth. Sadly, that is the truth. And another banger to MJF when you go there. Enjoy your buy one, get one free night. One and two life. Ugh. <laughs> no, I don't think MJF's going. I know, like, Cody Rhodes has mentioned MJF, but I don't think Max is going. I think, uh... I think Tony Khan spent the money. And he's going to keep him. And I think Max will come back and... Some, you know climb up the rankings somehow and he'll become the world champion and yeah it, I don't know we'll see we'll see if he does go over like I don't know what are you going to do go straight to NXT like you know MJF's not going to want to go to NXT he's going to want to be right on the roster and he's going to want a title shot so that that's something to look out for because a lot of people are wondering like who is MJF going to fight first I mean uh, Cody going to fight first in his uh, title reign like who's the first feud people think MJF's just going to show up randomly and that's just going to be it but I'm like you got to bring him in somehow to make it make sense you can't just have him just show up and be like yeah Maybe do the whole, like, I'm here to support my best friend again. And do that whole angle. That's been done in AEW. Or is that what they're going to do with Ricky Starks? Because, I mean, Ricky Starks was there, I mean... Looking like a Cody Rhodes mark. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Starks. Hey, Franklin, your car's still here. Alright, this is Michael's safe house, of course. Where the fuck is Mox? Uh, Mox is, uh... I think over in New Japan right now, I think he's set to challenge for a belt tomorrow night. 
I saw like a thing online, you know, I, on toxic Twitter. I was able to, you know, finally break free from all the toxic shit from last night. And I saw like a little video package of like Brian Danielson like training up Mox to get him ready for his match for the belt. So we'll see. I know he was down in Mexico doing a lot of stuff with CML, CMLL. Um, and then he went over to New Japan. And he's been doing stuff over for New Japan. And then I guess he'll be back very shortly. And then we'll get him for double or nothing, hopefully. Because I bought tickets specifically in a spot where I could be close to see John Moxley. <laughs> If I don't get John Moxley, I refund my tickets. No, I'm just kidding. Wheeler Yuta. Dude, I think Wheeler Yuta got hurt. I believe. Mr. McMilms? Yeah, how, how is Mr. McMilms doing? We haven't seen McMilms in a while. No, I meant Punk said that to MGF. When they had a promo a year or two back. Oh! I think I know which one you're talking about. The iconic blow for blow fucking promo. Holy shit. If MJF was going to go, he would have gone by now. Honestly, he's sticking around with AEW for sure. Plus, TK lets him go. There needs to be a reevaluation. Yeah, dude. If he let, he's not gonna let a, his generational talent just walk in free agency. There's no fucking way, dude. I know these WWE marks, like those WWE lifers out there, like all those negative people. Keep, I guarantee you that MJF's gonna show up. And I'm like, dude, you're gonna get your hopes up, and then what? You're gonna turn into like. A, a toxic person on Twitter when he shows back up in yeah, AEW. <laughs> you still don't make sense. Yeah, gonna rob me again. But, but it I'm does. He's gonna have a, a great rivalry to end you to the go. Undisputed really Kingdom. That's how the Undisputed Kingdom will end. MJF will put an end to it. He's gonna be John Cena. But I agree. If he was gonna go, he would have gone and he would have shown up by now. Because, you know, it takes WWE seven months to put uh, AEW talent on their TV. Like, unless your name is Andrade El Idolo. That makes me the right age. Like, serious revaluation. Yeah, that's true. No, seriously. No, I agree with that. And I can't believe I'm agreeing with that. Like, if you would have asked me that two years ago, I would have been like, fuck, let him go. Rob. Kill Dustin, yeah, maybe. Dustin was there. Maybe if you're lucky. I heard like a lot of the AEW people went. It's bullshit. Go to college. See, you gotta love Tony Khan for allowing off. shit like that. But my thing was, I can't, I couldn't believe that the Young Bucks got their WrestleMania moment. You know, I couldn't believe it, even though like they, you know, washed out the AEW logo off their jackets and shit, but I, 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 I still couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, it's the Young Bucks. Tomorrow we try a training montage. Toxic X, toxic Twitter. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. He's yeah, been going for a while. A Hope he comes back Much soon. Feel strange so without. It really does feel right. strange without him, but Maybe I'm I have a feeling I'm they're going to bring him back in a great way. And it's it, it, the roof is going to blow. Really no matter bad. where they're at, as soon as that music hits, you a good time. dude, you know that. place is going to erupt. I tell you what. Especially if he comes back and trolls everybody, it's makes them think that he's going to be a baby face and go straight into his life. heel role again. It's not too far from but I mean, I guess that wouldn't make sense though right, if man, the Undisputed Kingdom's me. the heels, right? We're taking my wife. Especially car. after his mania appearance. <laughs> hey, Jim. I'll yeah, everybody said that uh, MJF was going to show up at WrestleMania. What happened to that? It's, it's like MJF was supposed to show up what? at the Royal Rumble. The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. 
I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money. That's the they one. Buy it. They just want to At take the it. time, it, it felt more God like MJF insane. would go to WWE right, and I'm Punk coming. would be at AEW till the end. I right. right, like Change of how plan. crazy things my have fucking turned, you know? Hey, I help you out. You know, it just goes to show like anything could fucking change on the fucking, you know, stop of a dime or whatever. With the drop of a dime, you know, it's nuts. It's crazy, but come on, Frankenberry. I, that's not the outfit I had you in. Now I got his change Lesson again. Number one, don't ever have kids. Hey man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. He changed his so profile like picture on bad, his second social yeah, club. No, but you know, I was making a point. Pathologizing self deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. There's somewhere on the west What, he's like updated to something different? It's not him with his blue truck yeah, anymore? But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. Okay. I ain't your homie. Hey, oh! I'm someone you want to impress. Michael, you should let Franklin drive. He's got the special the ability. Some because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat related parenting issues entail. So I'm going to help you get this okay. back, right? That you are, my friend. Yeah, since you repossessed the car. Ah! 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 <laughs> Sorry, Michael had one too many drinks. I'll never forget you saying MJF was oh, mid LOL. There, there <laughs> I've always said I've always said he's good. We'll catch him. Charisma we'll is key play. in wrestling. No, charisma is key. The reason the I said he was mid was like because like we never really saw him wrestle. We only but heard him on the mic. And yeah, I will never covered. deny that MJF is amazing on the mic, but at the time, like, he wasn't wrestling like that, and it was frustrating, because it was just like, dude, this guy, like, is sitting here claiming he's so great, but, like, he's done nothing to prove that he's great. Oh, my God. Woo! There you go, boy. Oh, shit. Sorry. I uh, fear not. Maeve. Whoops. Maeve Delser has said MJF will appear on Raw next week. <laughs> Did he really? Get out of here. No, he didn't. I uh, Did Dave Meltzer really say that? Guy, like, always says some off-the-radar shit, man, I swear. It's like, this guy feels like he, he's the man. Like, he's the most credible source out there. But to me, the most credible source is what you see on TV. I don't believe any fucking reports until fucking shit happens. Jordan, what's going on, man? Appreciate you for joining in. Sorry, guys, I had to take a quick pause. Just a quick pause. Jordan, man, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're having a great week so far. I'm doing all right, man. I'm trying to put the week that I had behind me. <laughs> Give a <them> meek millums. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's what you said, man. San. I heard he was on that Diddy party. Oh, no. You talking about that Meltzer guy? Don't say that. No. No. Don't. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. That's terrible. Jordan, hope you're doing well. Congrats on the win tonight. 
He even said he works smart and doesn't want to get injured, but ironically, the moment he wrestles more, he gets injured. Yeah, but at the same time, though, he was doing, like, a heavy, heavy workload, like wrestling twice in one night, and he, practically doing all the matches he should have done for the first three years of his career. He was doing all in one year, which was wild. That's where the injuries occurred, like, I feel like next time he should space it out. Like, don't be wrestling twice in one night. Although it was a very historical night, so I do get it. But he was doing a lot of crazy shit. We maybe peel it back a little bit next time. But I feel like he was trying to prove a lot of the doubters wrong. And me being one of them, you proved me wrong, dude. Uh, he, I... Uh, let me take a sip of coffee before I say this. <laughs> God. MJF, I am sorry for ever doubting your wrestling ability. I do apologize for never taking you seriously. You are the man. There, I said it. He hasn't stream or posed or anything else. Oh, well, he did say, like, he's limited with his internet, so, you know, until he gets more of that, it's probably why. We'll see, we'll see uh, McMillan soon. Maeve Delter is the brother. He may or may not appear. Oh, God. I'm good. I hope it's getting better, my friend. Yeah, you know, we're Get here. Shit. So all's Fuck better it. now. It's To me, this is like a start to a new week. Get him off my ship. Throw him overboard. So now that we're like, there you go. Now we're starting like a whole new week. We're good, man. I'm putting it all behind me. No, nah, Meek. Oh, yeah, Meek. Got him. Yeah, no. I I don't I don't know too much about it to be honest. I I just hear these rumors and I'm just like, dude, I don't care about these celebrities' lives like that, man. I'm coming, James. 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 I caught James. Come on, Frank. Whoa. I just had to make sure he was, you know. All right, Frank and Barry, jump. Come on, Frank, jump. Arthur, son. Arthur. Arthur! Remind me not to come to you for carrying it advice! Wonder what made him wrestle more. I know he turned, but I didn't get it from a character standpoint. It was probably because Tony Khan was like, listen, if I'm gonna make you world champion, you need to show me that you are world championship material. Like our world champion needs to be featured on television on a weekly basis. You need to be at every single pay-per-view. You, you know what I mean? Hey, it's a chop shop so he probably was just like, all right, it's time. And maybe at that point, it's just it was really for the bidding war. Like, you, Triple H, I mean, literally just made a comment about the grind, right? That's why I was like, was it directed towards Will Ospreay? Because me, I took it as he was taking a shot at MJF. Because here he missed on MJF, and MJF only worked like three shows a year. So to me, that was an MJF shot, not a Will Ospreay shot. But maybe it was to both. 
but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, I'm curious. I, see. I need that MJF <laughs> shot when I get my legs. <laughs> Dude, whatever the fuck he, whatever the fuck he was using, he got in tremendous shape in that time that he was out until Brawl Out 2022, and then all of a sudden he's in incredible wrestling shape. Like, say what? Thanks, man. Hey, so you do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, uh -huh. no, not really. Give, I didn't hit the short and says that he didn't see it. Day, but he hopes that they get the win go. versus no. Crystal Palace. I like looking at it. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude. I'm watching it, I have to say, I loved it. it. Sorry, right, Jordan. Take what's in my pocket, a couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. I remember doing this mission like ten times, yeah, first time. Okay. Oh yeah, because I couldn't Look, shoot. I'm, get the ride fix, man. It I'm not great at free aim dude. shooting, so it's all good, though, man. I feel you on that. All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. He uploaded. How are you finding it, PS5 GTA? And what mode have you got it on? Mode? What do you mean by mode? Uh, but so far, I'm loving it, man. I love the way it feels. Come like, on, man. to me, it, it feels better. To be honest, like... Still need to get you the car's the destroyed, so I have to push... On the gas a little bit harder, so I think that's pretty nice. Um, do this thing, or we got to bounce. Yeah, that looks better. All right. Yeah, so you, dude, it. I think it's pretty dope. As of right now, it controls nice. Like uh, the one thing, like when I first started uh, in the very opening mission, like uh, with the water spritzing on it, like the way the controller felt it was Are really you nice. To think of, like the sickest ride that's even conceivable. Um, no. Let's leave. I'm not looking to spend my money on your mother's car, kid. It's not like my dick is in. Um, sorry. Um, ahem. we'll let Michael. <coughs> sorry, I was trying to say we're going to let your father take. The no, car I mean, to the garage and do sir, the sickest Jimmy, mod to or it Jimmy. ever. Jimmy, or just like Jim. <laughs> nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, home. So, uh, what's the I deal, think you're man? right. His huh? title run you know, after man? winning it was boring. After so Danielson, it was way. okay, but was after like, Double or Nothing picked up and Cole Run was pretty much started it. Dude, it yeah, it was. Look, man, if he ain't telling, it was man, nice. It was. It was nice, man. Dude, uh, I I can't tired, deny it. Like fully, like and you know, like at first it was a mid run. He had a great match with Danielson. The Double or Nothing match was like it was okay. It was exciting oh, to man. get the four well, pillars well, match, but overall the match was it was okay. It was okay. Um, I feel like yeah, the build up to it wasn't Look, great. I'm sorry my dad lost But then it's like job. you said, it's after that thing. though, like we got the Adam I mean, Cole feud. And the woo! Oh, you got fired, dude. The dude just took off yeah, from there, rough. man. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there. Rockstar been games. Resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? What about no, Rockstar? I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? No. I usually go with fidelity mode. It looks amazing. Oh, you mean like picture wise? You know, dude, I didn't even do anything. This was my very first. This is my first time like playing story mode on the PlayStation 5. I just installed this last night. Because after uh, you said you weren't going to be available, Gib, I was like, okay, when I get home, I'm going to 
download GTA 5 because um, it's going to be a late stream. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, you can check on like, the settings. We could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could but just, as long like, as it's good shopping, for your you know, playing play experience, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'd, let me look into it. Up. I've totally forgot Dude, about that, I man. Real crazy. Yeah, I, I always sure forget I about that until somebody in the hey, chat, you know, like, man, asked. And I'm like, oh, I yeah. Because it was like that with Spider-Man. Exactly, my brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Get some yeah, water, man. Dude, I really should. I have actually it's right here I should it's been a minute I finished my coffee you're right you're right <sighs> I reckon that's when he signed the contract extension because he just randomly went in hard yeah, I think I think you're right. Once he started going in, that was it. That was the start of the new, like, him signing a new contract. Obviously, the contract goes into effect in 2024. Hey, look, man. Look, you were like a son to me. Employee it's crazy. Of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my <laughs> totally <laughs> legitimate <laughs> business. <laughs> You're fucked, my boy. Fucked. With a capital F. Right. Yeah, I don't fucking need you, Simeon Utarian. Settings. Display. Fidelity. Yep, it's in fidelity. Performance. What's it look like on performance? Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that did not look good. No. No. There we go. Oh, let's see. Perfect. I like the way that looks. That cough was too intense. <laughs> it's because I was saying some pretty effed up stuff, man. Can you put subs on, please? Oh, yeah, dude, I'm so sorry. I meant to do that as well. Oh, God. I meant to do that. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. We're good now. The marathon this weekend. Awesome. This yeah, yeah, it looks way better on Fidelity. And now we got subs. All right. Good shit. I should have done that from the very beginning of the live stream. I've been meaning to do it. I just keep jumping in to a different mission. This is going to be the definitive playthrough for us. PlayStation 5 version. Once and for all, Christian. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go do a Franklin mission. Dude! I cut the wheel to squeeze through. We gotta get your driving skill up there, Frankenberry. Oh. It's a group sex van. Okay. Hey, 
Man, we're gonna do this. This yee yee ass haircut over here. Y'all ready for this? I'm pretty sure this mission is the mission of missions of the famous line from Mr. Lamar Lamar. Lamar? Mr. Lamar Davies? I'll remember. Now look, a blimp. And I'm not talking. No, no, I'm not going to. We're not going to go down that route. Okay. Straight playthrough again soon. Looking forward to the movie. Stray members. Oh, dude. Yes, Gib. Stray. Uh, you know, I might do that tomorrow. I, I've honestly been trying to think about that. I almost did that today, but I know I probably could have done that. Oh, you know, I probably should have tried to do that. I was like, I could have probably done that all in one playthrough. I should have, because that's a trophy. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. But no, we're gonna we're gonna do that very soon. Our PlayStation 5 playthrough of Stray. It's Strizzach. Spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? Missed you, dog. That's what. Yeah, that's what we were saying. We missed you. Missed you. So I fucked your girl. Mugged your mom, mm -hmm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on that. Shit, I'm doing All right, so this is not the mission. It's the next yeah, mission. My bad. I got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Give us I'll be there for sure. You'll love the controller with the PS5 version. Oh man, I look forward to it. Stray was one of my favorite playthroughs, man. If I could be honest, Stray was one of my favorites. It was great. Definitely got hit up inside. Hit up. Hey, hey. I didn't think I could have so much fun with the game playing as a kitten. But man, was that game ever great? All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. What's going on, Cyberpunk? Fuck you. Swear, Hopefully you're doing cool. well, brother. Appreciate you for joining in. Hopefully you're having a great week so far. I believe this game ran on the PS3. Started out on the PS3. Got up an, uh, an upgrade to, on the PlayStation 4. And then got another upgrade on the PlayStation 5. Like, three generations of GTA 5. Isn't that crazy? But it felt so incomplete on the PlayStation 3. Like, you go back and you play it on the PlayStation 3 versus the way it, you know, it feels on the 5. Like, it's way different. Like, it just hits different. I really wish I could have waited until I got a PlayStation 4 to play it initially, but... Hey, man, I couldn't wait. I was ready for Grand Theft Auto 5, dude. I was so hyped for GTA 5. And now I have that same kind of hype, even higher, for GTA 6. Soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated more. I'm pretty sure you already said it earlier. Did it did I miss that already? I was just talking through it with all my EVP bullshit. Ammunition. <laughs> Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah. Fingers crossed for a stray to ending. Quit all that. Just straight up uh, for, artillery, man. Hold on. Fingers crossed for a stray to. The ending left it open. The ending definitely left it open for another stray game. The question is, are they going to do it with a cat? Or are they going to do it with a dog? 
the fuck am I the only one buying this? Cause we got sheets, homie. Now shut the fuck up and come on. You gotta get the flashlight. Just I don't want the suppressor. Man, the is made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now let's go bust on some niggas. Shh. I like the army tent on this. All right, don't take spend all my money. Spot, where the base heads be taking their cans at? You know, on friends in La Puerta. Mm. <laughs> all right, Lamar, let's go. I love the scratching, dude. That was so cool, man. It, the things that you could do in that game, it was just like, man, you really did feel like a cat. Like, they, they just knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Doing a great job, man. I, I, I look forward to that live stream again, man. Like, it's going to be so much fun. The scratching, man. Yeah, I remember the first time we did it, it was just like, yeah! Oh, I can't wait. Hopefully, Sheeta will be out here, and then maybe I'll catch, I'll be able to capture her on camera, like watching us fly. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing. You know, just some ideas. That's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real. It has to be a cat. Bullshit, man. It's no, I feel you. I feel you. It was a lot of fun, but I'm like, man, they they could make it with a, a stray dog, but I I would like it another one with a cat too. I I would take it with either one, man. They're both. Like I said, it was a lot of fun with a cat. So did that John Wick ending by leaving it open. I mean, dude. Because we never got to really see him reunite with his friends, you know? He just, like, jumped... You know what I mean? And I thought that was the whole point of the game, was for us to be reunited with our friends. Reunited and it feels so good. So maybe, like, Stray 2 could be us, like, outside of that world and into the real world. And now we actually have to go and find the cats from the beginning of the game to be with our friends again. And then bring more tears to our eyes. <laughs> Just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your Cause man, I'm not gonna lie, man. That game you know these the ending to that game, like really yeah, It's a good thing, like our first initial playthrough. Uh I didn't have a face cam, because I'm not gonna lie, like I, I definitely choked up because it, it That that was oof sad. But good. Reunited in it. Oh, sorry. And it feels so good. That fucking D set us up. Fuck you. I said lay low after you got clock. You ain't no motherfucker. That ain't me. I can see that. Oh, shit. He was behind the door. Whoa, bro. Who's a mark? Cover me, homie. I'm going to hit this. Hit it and quit it. Got him. You going first next time, no fool. Always, boy. Not me, nigga. Hey, baller, you the one getting fucked. This is fucked. Got him. Yeah. Come on, Frankenberry. We really fucked. Man, you shouldn't have put me in the room with that shit. Shut up, man. Stu. Okay. Uh, look at me like. Oh God! Come on, around. Get him! <laughs> like moving around like as if I'm really being shot at. Oh! Come on, Franklin. 
Reunited and it feels so good. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, that's a close line for hell. Come on, Lamar. I know you like to take the lead, so go ahead. Oh, that's right. I have to go first. That's right. From now on, you go first. I got it. That's what I said. Oh man, I keep hitting the metal bar. Good night. He's on fire. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. The long climb to freedom, baby. Do this. Do the scratching with the controller, and you'll see the difference. Oh, get out of there, Frankenberry! We get over this and we good, homie. Come on, Lamar. We almost stopped this shit. Move. We got to cool this. Small shit. things are always the best, dude. I know that's what I love about. That's what I love about Red Dead Redemption. It's like the detail, it's like all the small details in the game are, it's phenomenal. It makes it just, you just pick me up such a great game. That's the story, Here's the story of a lovely homie. He saved me from the police and then we ran away. He didn't have long hair. But he knew how to drive. Oh God, the only one in Grove Street. Okay. Keep them rollers off us. We are airborne and in route. Okay. I wish I was in jail. Not running with you, fool. Well, you know what? I could make that happen, sir. You want me to go uh, park outside and leave you right there? I could do that. Did anyone have a visual on him? I wasn't here. I wasn't even in this state. All right, let's just stay right here. <laughs> That's okay. it. That's it. We lost him. Now take us somewhere where we can get it in, homie. I'm driving back to my crib, man. All right. I'm going home. I want to go home. Okay. Hey, what the hell you walked me into back there? Shit, man, you the one popped his ass. I did the necessary. Yeah, thank I did you for the that, necessary. This all on you I mean, he kind of. You did. Me. You did. Hey, snitches no get stitches. Fuck around, if find out, right? With the ballers, shit. I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually. We ain't CGL for life, cause all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie. Foreign gang. Oh no, nah, no, nah, he don't mean that, low. Not for you saying it is. I'm gonna reach cross lines, all right? Conversate with Maybe the for homies. others yeah, yeah. too, but idea, not Smart for me. Shit. But if I gotta hang you assholes out for this, hey, give us this true. B12 oh, killed me. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. He a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? Yeah. Oh man. Got to emotionally prepare myself for that ending, man. Jeez. It's like the game is so fun and like definitely has like those moments of like pulls on the feels, but man, that ending really gets you. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nigga. What movie is going well at the moment? Recommendations was thinking of going out on Saturday to watch. And who better to ask than you? Uh, to be honest, the movie that's doing the greatest is Kong. Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, 
that seems to be like the only real good movie right now. If I'm going to be honest with you, I heard Immaculate's pretty good as well. Uh, the movie with Sidney Sweeney. Um, that one's doing pretty well. Did pretty well, but now it's not since it's been out for a few weeks. But Kong vs. Godzilla is probably your number one feature right now. Uh, Jordan says, finally got to see some ray tracing on the PS5 on my new TV. Oh, shit. Jordan, you got it. New TV. Hell yeah, brother, brother. Yeah, dude, finally started up this playthrough. Uh, we played GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, and now we're playing GTA 5. I wish I could do a GTA 4 playthrough so bad, guys. Cyberpunk, I wish we could dual wield guns in this game. Oh, dude. I would expect that in uh, GTA 6 for sure. I think that'll definitely be in GTA 6. They, they took a step backwards since San Andreas. San Andreas, you were able to dual wield guns. And then they took a step back. You know, and they haven't had that in a Grand Theft Auto game since. But that would be fucking sick. Hey, boo! I knew you couldn't stay away. Oh, you're lucky that I have to do this for 100%, bitch, or else I would leave your fucking meth ass over somewhere else. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you got on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Okay. Only took what? seven months or so. Excuse LOL. Me? Look, I'm sorry. But well, where's your love for the hood? Assassin's JV Creed, the sun through the trees. Dude, you that's like one of my favorite things everything. about Red Dead. What do I it's do? like at Save nighttime you got the like the the, the moon through the trees, like if it's foggy out, like you oh. uh then during the day, like the sun, like dude, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. See it in Red Dead all the time, man. Oh, that's right. I gotta wait for you. No, I don't want to wear a helmet. I'm a dangerous driver. To me, Franklin Clinton, I ain't so cracked out. I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What? We was like 13. But you was a man after that night. Every time with this shit, and nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Yeah, dude. Poor Frankenberry. I don't believe her, Franklin. Don't worry. I don't believe her. She seems like somebody that would make up stories. I mean, just look at her. Okay, anyway. Sam says he wishes that Stray was free on Steam. Oh man, now nah, they gotta make some kind of money off of that. Dispatch. That game What's is really good. I would recommend whatever the price tag is at, man. I still would say it's worth it. It's really good, man. It's a really good game. It's really fun. Cause you look like you know what you do. One, I can't drive, and two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like you uh, do. Give up. <laughs> you never see Give up. Sydney what, Sweeney, you say. You <laughs> Well, thanks, so NVD. <laughs> You're welcome, yeah. sir. Yes, Sydney Sweeney. You got your math on the corner, Dave. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, Monkey Man's out too. That that did good. Okay, I I can't say it did like great, but it it did good. I I've heard good things about it.
I totally forgot about that movie, but yes. Yes, that is out. Three million dollars. Three million dollars. <laughs> I am. Okay. Let's lower this baby up. I mean down. We're on, Load it Let's up. Oops. I didn't mean to press my contact. Come on. I was only parked there for a minute. Doesn't matter. You're not handicapped. You're parked in the handicap section. You are getting towed. You can pay me a hundred dollars now to drop it, or you can pick it up at the yard for double the fee. Friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer call. I I am doing repo work for some guy, some midget. That I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack. I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they You've switched pieces. from kill good news to five no star. JB sold his social for a piece two years ago. I I normally I give people a kill switch, but. You too I decided to switch up my uh, move set, and now I can hit the best five-star frog splash you'll ever see in your life. You should do adverse adversar adversary adversary. In adversary mode. <laughs> I didn't even smoke during this stream yet. And I can't even talk. In adversary Trump mode in with Gibbo. Dude, we're gonna have our plate stacked on Monday's live stream. We could we may get to it. One of my favorite adversary modes was um what do you call it? The um. Am I distracting you? I get ugly if I Man, what the fuck's it called? I have it bookmarked. Friendly. You know I will. See you around. We'll be watching Immaculate for work purposes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I uh, I have some research I need to do. <laughs> That's awesome, Gib. <laughs> Yes, I will be watching, uh, Immaculate. Almost there to get my vehicle. Godzilla and Kong, I heard Monkey Man was the dollar store wick, but I love action, so that's something that's right up my street. It, I did, yes, it is very similar to John Wick. That has been the comparison for sure around these parts. That has been what people have been comparing it to. And, uh, you know, but they, they still said it's pretty good. So. I don't know if that is still going to be an interest or not. I mean, nobody's Keanu, though, let's be honest. Keanu's Keanu, and there's only one Keanu, so stop trying to be Keanu. I'd even back in my motorcycles, too. <laughs> I'm a backer in her. Even though I got mad at somebody today for backing in, like, a parking lot that was practically empty. I was like, ah! Oh! No, I didn't click jacket. I... Let me go get... Can I go buy... New clothes now. Now I can do my hair. I can go to the gun shop, but I can't go to the clothing store. God! 
NVD and Cena one night stand was great. Oh my god. Dude, that was great. And then the whole if Cena wins, we riot. Perfect. Loved it. Loved it. And like when Cena fucking chucked his shirt out into the crowd and they kept throwing it back. <laughs> oh, dude. You're taking me back, bro. You're taking me back. Solely for researching purposes, that is all. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sure, give. Sure. <laughs> they could give me John Wick the GTA treatment, and I'll watch it. And honestly, as long as it doesn't go like the Fast franchise. Oh, dude. I feel that. I feel that. Now, I think John Wick will keep getting that. As it's, dude, Keanu's a smart man. If, like, there's a demand for it, he's going to go for it. You know what I mean? As long as it makes sense. Don't have a cyberpunk moment with John Wick. All right, give me one moment. I'm going to go run to the bathroom real quick, and then I'm going to come back, fill triple B. And then we're going to continue this playthrough. Give me one moment, guys. I appreciate you all for joining up, hanging out. Together.
my fault because I'm just so damn hot. Oh. You can't wrestle. You still suck. <laughs> Dude, yeah, uh, that was some good stuff, man. Some real good stuff back in the day. The wired pointing. <laughs> <you're not> <laughs> oh, Kim. <laughs> My man, never change, my friend, never change. You are the fucking man. Like earlier, it's like, man, I'm gonna try to make you laugh right now. It's like, cause I know you had a long week. Cause I was like, tell him like how I had a long week or whatever. He's like, I'm gonna make you laugh. So he sends me, it's Christian. Made me chuckle right away, man. I was sitting there on the bench while Spike was, you know, in in the doggy park. And I was just sitting there. And I was responding to Gip and I watched it and I just started laughing right where I was at. And I was like, man. And then when he's like, I'm just trying to make you laugh. But I was like, you did. You did. I was like, I needed that, man. Because how long of a week it was and... Ugh. I'm just grateful it, it, it's it's over, you know. Okay, Triple B, Bay Bay. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Mike. But yeah, give. Uh, so about the whole nose thing. Um, the nose, nose, Royan. The nose, nose. You know, that's why WWE is in great hands. Cause the nose, nose. <laughs> All right, let me close this up. We'll go to Michael DeShanta. Head to Michael DeSanta. I'll start smoking that when we get over to Michael. I'm going to head to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy to see you stream again and you laughing there. All the best, my friend. <laughs> hey, he's laughing. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, dude. Like I said, brother, never changed my homie. I hope, though, give they have a great rest of your day or night. I'm pretty sure it's like middle of the night for you. So I just hope that you have a good one, man. Sleep well. I'll catch you in the next one. Much love to you, homie. And it was nice chat in the hey, game, man. I'm right. glad to be back. We'll be back again tomorrow for sure, though, brother. But yeah, dude. <laughs> Good shit. That's right, Bob. One more day, and I'm a retired man. That's Four right, Bob. No! Not Charlie! Charlie! Somebody, I'm trapped! I can smell gas! Get me out of here! I got you, Charlie! Hurry, please! There's some gas in here! Hurry up! We don't have long! Get back! She's gonna go! Run! It's gonna blow! 
Okay. Ah! I just made it. Thank you so much. I thought I was done for there. You, you, yeah, you got close. But you're very welcome because that's what kittens do. Uh, Sansa's GTA 6. It's right around the corner. That's why we're doing this playthrough. Very excited for that. Can't wait. Right, Spike? Right, Spike? Oh, little buddy. A little buddy. Spike's tired, man. He had a long day today. And his belly's filled from his pup cup. Right, bud? Got puppy cup. Yeah, did you get puppy cup today? You want to tell everybody about it? Wanna come up and tell everybody about it? It's like, ah, uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> like, uh, you look comfy, bud. That's what kittens do. NVD. NVD. <laughs> Got you, Gib. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Hey it's Christian. <laughs> yeah, no, it was pretty warm out, man. It was like a really warm day. So, yeah, I had to put on the NVD straps today. Versus wearing a t-shirt like normal. I actually had to use the uh, the air conditioner because it was going to get super hot in here. So I turned the air on. Didn't really want to do that until like June, July, but it is what it is. Uh, Jordan says we need some Red Dead again. Yeah, we'll we'll join in Red Dead again soon. Um. Because tomorrow I'm most likely going to start up that Stray playthrough. The PlayStation, oh, ver fuck. PlayStation 5 oh, version oh, of Stray. Hey, you. And then um, Michael, calm down. Monday we're going to do uh, some GTA Online. And we're going to do like a bunch of like missions and... Races and all different kinds of things, man. Just don't kill him! <laughs> okay, let's go, Frankie. He's banging my wife! What happened? Guy bounced my wife. Move! Bounced my wife is what happened. Let's go. The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach! Oh, that's fucked up, man. Move, move, move. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah. The mailman. The mailman and the milkman. Those are the two people you gotta watch out for. Alright, and then the camper's gonna come out of nowhere. To get us... Yep, there he is. Yo, batch! Fuck, man, I think he lost his head. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. He's up in the hills. You see that little piece of shit? It's this track here. Hey, in one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. Aha, there's Let the car. Check it out. Little pricks up there. Oh yeah, he, he parked his car there and ran up the hill? I don't think so. I don't believe it. All for researching purposes, nothing more... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I give... Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, for research purposes. Uh, research purposes. As uh, Tony Storm would say, uh, chin out, 
and watch for the shoe. Sorry, Tony, if I didn't do it, it's good, but I'm not you. I'm not timeless like you, Tony. Oh, what's going on, Bingo Fat? Appreciate you for joining in, Bingo. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully uh, you've been having a great week so far. Appreciate you for joining up, hanging out. Yo, just playing GTA 5 right now. Yeah, dude, same. GTA. Just relaxing, starting up this playthrough. Sometimes it's got to get worse to get better. Yeah, well, this is going to be a hundred percent playthrough as well. We're going to go for a hundred percent. Honestly, I'm going to probably take my time and to just enjoy it, just to drag it out some because I feel like we could cruise through this story. But since we've done it like a million times, but now I just want to enjoy it, have fun. My bad, seriously. How fucking magnanimous! May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! No! And we'll see how you like when someone fucks with your shit! Almost well, to hey, the main event? Uh, yeah, idea, maybe. Fuck. Here we go! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Oh, you are probably crazy! I mean, I feel like we just started the live stream. We've only been streaming for like two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love this. This is this like right here was like so badass. The very first time doing it, I was like, whoa. Fuck, man, fuck. We're in for a treat. Oh, fuck his ass. Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking The hills have eyes. The hills have eyes. I could. Yeah, now he's going to learn a lesson. Hey, it's a he'll, never wanna, he'll never want to whip his Johnson out in front of... Uh, Michael's wife ever again. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house. Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm, I'm just a tennis, a tennis coach. coach. I hit balls for a living. <laughs> I play with balls for a living. You, you're a dead one. Green light. Green Martin Madrazo, give you green light. Ah! Frankenberry. You kidding me? Yes. Can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. Shit, man. Okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, he, they flipped. All right, I think we're good. No. Oh, his tire's flat. I shot the tire. Oh, man. Oh, my God, Michael. Yeah, they're they're not really going to be able to catch up, dude. I popped that tire. Shoot that gun, kid. That's what it's for. See? He's just going to keep spitting. Damn. All right, all right. There you go. We got a book, man. Go. Go, go, go. Can you see them? Are they still back there? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, we go back to my house. And think about this. Ah, <laughs> Jordan. Ah, this Shit. mission. You Hell yeah, Sheeta! I mean, your aim's all over the place, but Sheeta. you were help. Ah, uh, thanks. I Come guess. Here. Hey, don't get the fence. 
Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. Come on up, shit. Oh fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine. I see. Wine. I got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I don't know if you can you see or you? not. Probably not. Oh man, I'm fucking excellent. I see. I ain't fucked like that in years. I see the cat. Yes. Fucking a, Bubba. Man. Yeah, you Bubba. Just been green lit by the Mexican uh, big old fat just re Trust just me. recently started to play Whatever GTA 5 and I'm on the heist prep for the I jewelry heist worse. hell yeah bro how you enjoying GTA is this yeah. your first playthrough no of it or good, man. Woo. Yeah. Do it. it's like I waited it. I've man, waited no all this time by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. One more oh, time. Damn skip, homie. All that knowledge up there is winning. I'm going to celebrate. You know, this shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? <laughs> Take us some score? There was a time that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About the city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. Jordan this says even cool. now that's cool. Hell yeah, it is. Michael just drives, bro. I appreciate Michael just taking the reins on driving, though, so that way I can sit and hit the bomb. All right, well, I'm going to get out and walk from here. No, I'm just kidding. Look at Michael driving like a goody two-shoes, man. What the fuck? Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea we could get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside so has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Dude, that mission's still always going to be shit, one of my favorite missions in Grand Theft Auto V. You know who I am? Wait, look at the way everything mirrors. Like, damn. No. Very you? nice. You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. Uh, frankly, no. No, frankly, maybe he's holding know, on to my license. Santa here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe get him a little of the background. Man, Mr. Uh -huh. Madrazo. It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman. Who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hill? Damn, dude, that's like broken uh, ribs right there, mate. Life. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> Jordan, you change your profile picture? In between like that, man? Well, Damn. A bongo for me, too. Let me let me tell. check this out. Well, you finance a I was like, wait a minute, that's not the same. And I sure. thought like I had an imposter, but then I'm like, well, no. Jordan's are uh, will be somewhere in the our mod, so. Million range. <laughs> of course. Damn, I, I like that. Is that the World Trade Center? World Trade Center during uh, a sunset? Dude, that's a nice, on, nice photo, dude. Damn, you all right? Very nice. Never better. I like it. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to. Hi, kitty. I'm gonna have to give an old friend. A call. <laughs> what are you doing? Lester. You need a silly kid. I think he's in town somewhere. Got zooms. Track him down. 
You got zoomies? Give me a little alone time, all right? Just give me a little oh, alone God. time. Yeah, it's a new one. Says Jordan of the Twin Towers, dude. It, it's a really nice photo, man. I really like that one. That's so cool. Beautiful sunset. One more time. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Is this the number asking? for asking? Lester Crest? You're awful cagey. <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you, Marietta Heights. Whoa, oh, whoa, there wait. we go. Nice hey, pop you... right there. All right, here Hello? we go. Hey, you. Hey, fucker. hey, hey. Hey, Lester, how did you know? Hey, Lester, how did you know I was alive? All right, let's go do this uh, side quest. We'll try to knock out like side quests as much as we possibly can. Doc, as hey, we go, Michael. That way we don't have them like the all pile up on us. Yeah, well, I'm more of a to the end game, that would you suck. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Okay. Oh, oh, it's this side quest. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This one's good. This one's good. Ah, <laughs> cyberpunk. Imagine if someone did a speed run of this game at one FPS. Oh my God. Imagine. The fear is a gateway drug. Excuse me. Yo, what? Chill, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline. Hi, Barry. How are you, sir? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck yes. about refunds. They rigged the weed, I weed, saw the weed. We just it's finished. Lie. It's democracy. Very uh, fitting to do this. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets well. intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. <laughs> you want a drag? Yes. Nah, I'm not a drug guy. Nah, he, he, Dad, think about it. This is mana. I grew up myself. No paranoia. No I had to think about it. Because deep Pass down inside, Michael wants some of that. Come on, Michael. Yeah, here yeah. You are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. Don't say nope to dope. <laughs> mellow high. But I do oh, get concerned man. about the monsters. Only if you're of legal yeah. age, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get to you. Oh, the fuck! Trippin', baby! <laughs> Oh yeah. Do you wanna get hide me? Huh. Yeah! Got you right in your brain head. <laughs> oh no, no. Say hello to my little friend.
No, 100%. Oh! Stop! Run! Wait, where's it at? Where's it at? Mikey! Ah! Shut up! Leave me alone! Ah! Stop growling! Aliens don't growl! Ah! This is gonna be so kind of act! Oh my god. No. Come on, Michael. Are we finished yet? Survive if I let you, man. Oh. Come on, man. You want a piece of me? Oh, so, God, I'll send the whole damn army, man. I'll take you all to fucking that, hell. <laughs> the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insane. Sansa's Lester Crest. <laughs> Lester gonna get hit with the Judas effect. What are you talking about? It's the Judas in the state. The Judas in the mind. But, but it's a good cause. Oh, it's like a three-part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because each one this, gets this tyranny by morons. Each each character has to do these, but for some reason, Franklin is unaffected by the Mary Jane. But Michael and Trevor both get affected by it, so it's very interesting. Hey, buddy. Too soon to bring up tennis? Assume I'm not getting in another coach anytime soon, so we need someone to play with us. Worried my grip is getting loose. Um... Bitch, I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you how to... I'll show you my... Oh, no. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to show you my stroke. <laughs> there, I said it, folks. I said it. All right. Michael DeSanta, he's breaking the rules. So we're gonna go to Lester. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Reunited and it feels so good. All right, Lester, one of Michael's uh, old-time pals from back in the day from, you know, when they would go out and do a heist here or there, you know? What do you call me? Okay, GPS says we're here. This mission is a Saints Row 4 reference. What, the uh, abduction? The alien getting hit? I, I mean, smoking weed and tripping balls? Tripping major balls. Fuck you, Lester. That makes sense, says Jordan. Give me a minute. I'll open the door for you. A dog, but no dog. Look, it's the Red Dead 2 gang. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> JK. I was wondering when you'd show up. Uh... I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You Lester, why is your house so mysterious? Because you, know? you came here. Why else would you? Yes, I, I need to make money. Friend, Lester. 
I, I need to that. make money, I said it. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, oh, I... Oh, hell I'm, no! I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. <clears throat> I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Damn! Well, what kind of friend are you? Like that. Shut up a minute. The one that over. left and one behind. I thought we were no uh, friends left fuck. behind kind Who? of group, but uh, I was yes. wrong. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by outsourcing <laughs> all the jobs? By selling yeah, he saved bits America. Of plastic, okay. restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? You are about to get... That white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag. And dress yourself <laughs> up. Billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. Better wow. Be the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about okay, to I'll call you when I'm ready, and, sir. Brother, it is going to be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's go to the suburb. Yo, you know what? Oh, you're lucky. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah, I was going to... I was going to see how quickly you can get up these steps. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Let's go get a change of clothes. So that way we can fit right in. Um, yeah. For our new job that we're about to get. Okay. And then I'll call you when I'm ready. Lester. Hopefully he's looking up a job to do. You know. You're about to owe me one, sir. All because I faked my death. Sheesh. Who would have thunk it? I do all this. I faked my death. And now I'm returning from the dead. I mean, shit. Hey, no! Okay, let's get some change of clothes. Okay. Um, excuse ah. me. Excuse me. My name's Michael yeah, DeSanta, and I would company. like to buy some new clothes. Now yeah. clothing shops you are going to be available. Now, uh, out. Franklin can complete I didn't lose my his job. look. Of course. Complete the too old Got with a nice doors. new hat and now we can make them what we want them to be hmm? a handsome out. stud Best in some cargo shorts all right and buy a suitable outfit okay um yeah i just don't like the shade of green man so We'll go blue because Michael's colors in the game are blue, so we'll go blue. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get.
the fuck did she just say to me? Michael, you really just going to take that? <laughs> I'll, you're lucky. They're not letting me pull out a gun. Alright, well, <laughs> making Michael look like a mark. Alright. Oh, we'll go with this. This is Dignity pretty aside, good. I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. You know what? That wasn't that bad. I appreciate... I appreciate... All of it, ma'am. You have tremendous customer service. I'll make sure I put that in your review. All right. Hi, Sheed. Michael. Sheed the cat. Up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just going to let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens nope. the door and She's act considering entitled. it, though. Fine. Come on, kitten. Nope, it's bedtime. Oh, Shida. Okay, um, let's do this. Life Invader. Time to hack some devices. Whoa, people. You think that's a proper spot to do a U-turn? I don't think so. You should do it at a smaller intersection. Sheeta! Come here. You want to come say hello? Come here. Come here. Sheeta cat. She the cat, like she the cat, cats. She the cat! Hi. Hello, I'm Sheeta. I'm Sheeta. Did you see yourself on TV? It's a good girl. It's a good girl. <laughs> She's like, alright, cool, now I get... Now I get pets. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna read the chat real quick. Rockstar Games cooking GTA 6 is great, says Sand. Dude, yeah, they're cooking. I cannot wait to see more uh, footage. Uh, that's gonna be, I think, sometime in like May, late May, early June, most likely. Probably get trailer number two. Maybe July, like around the 4th of July. Hey. Um, oh, great. and then yeah, after that, the dude, I think we're going to start getting like some screenshots and max. stuff like I mean, that on a more consistent basis, especially if we plan on releasing a full and then eventually when it gets later. closer to the game's oh, release, you know, we'll yeah, probably get some kind of gameplay do. trailer. Well, I mean, like we're talking I would say maybe Q3. Milestones are I would say when probably yeah. the end of November, it's beginning of December, you know probably get a gameplay <sighs> trailer, probably on the one year anniversary of trailer number one, probably mean? get like gameplay trailer, so. just my I, prediction, I, I, I temp, right? and then yeah. you know, fingers crossed that it right. gets released uh, in uh, March uh, of 2025, no. like to March, April, database, if you know what I mean. I'm excited. Do you plan on doing a Cyberpunk 2077 stream? Dude, we did. We did, and we actually were able to make it through, too. That's what's great. Made it through the whole story. I didn't do, like, side quests and stuff, so... We kind of just went straight through the main part of the story. But it was good. I raged. In the final mission, I, I, I rage quit. The to the main so menu, right I had to smoke oh, like a couple bongs, and then, <laughs> and then I went back in, and then as TNT champion, we uh, destroyed the end of the game, and yeah, go. dude, it, it was it was a really good game. I, I, I can actually say that I had fun with Cyberpunk. 
Oh, you've been at it on oh. this PC. Oh, my. Uh, uh, all the young bucks. Close your eyes. I think so. um, junk on we the got board. some stars. NSFW link, bro. Oh, my God. I'm clicking yeah, on them. Not safe for work, huh? Oh, my you God. Know, my son's computer runs bibs. into the same kind of problem. Lots of bibs. I'll close the pop ups. No. See what I can do. Michael. Some codes. Start the bibs. Bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a Oh, my God. Look at all the bibs. <laughs> you want to all the young bucks Those look away. Close your eyes. Especially <laughs> right here. Eventually. You don't want to look at Princess Fiona this way. Oh my god. I need to write some product, bro. He Sorry. Feeling the running the, running uh, the device stand. here. There Sorry. Young bucks look away. Yeah, I'm not talking about Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. <laughs> Uh, San Andreas! Oh, get ready to close your eyes. So yeah, see? Young Buck already well, knows. Your job is actually kind of stressful, Exterminate. too. Exterminate. And that should do it. And let's print. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work Sorry. from now on? Uh, we'll go into the farm dues of the... Okay, never mind. Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Minds are gonna blow. You have no idea. Send me the photo. You have no idea how bad his mind is going to be blown right now. But it's going to be so dope, bro. Make sure you tune in to the earnings call right now. Live on GTA San Andreas Playthrough Mystery More. Oh, nice. Because it used to be NBC2 News. Back in those days, you remember that? Back in the day. Now, NBC2 Dude, News no longer exists. Bye now. It is now GTA San Andreas. Playthrough and mystery and more. Live on NBC2 News. <laughs> Live tomorrow, Jay Norris gets his head blown off. Hi, Spike. Do you want to come up on camera now? Come on. Do you want to make your camera appearance? Nah, he's got sleepy eyes. You got hey, sweepy hold on, hold on. eyes, you ready to go to bed. Lester. Wow, Lester, shut up, man. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. <laughs> Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. I'm Classic a movie guy. Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now yeah. it's superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define America. Can it? Because they be remaking a lot of movies, Mike. And, defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, and then a lot of like the newer product anyway, is just really not that good. He's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. A lot of people losing faith here, son. Here, let me uh park my vehicle in the garage because uh, I'm a fancy guy. Oh, nah, I was thinking about Michael, did you turn it off? Okay, he did. I was going to say, Michael, you do not want carbon monoxide in your garage, so are you trying to kill your family? Alright, it's time to watch some television. <laughs> Tracy, get your lazy ass out. Yes, I did, San. I did forget. Yes. You are in the final. Ooh. You are in the finals. All right, I don't care. Okay, it's time. This company has come a long way since we started it. 
in my parents' pool house in East Carolina. Uh, Cyberpunk says, I think GTA 7 okay. will have lots of insurance and sand fear. Dude, I... Oh, man. If only they would have uh, put it in this game. When they first announced that it was going to be in San Andreas again, I was like, okay, so we're going to get Lost Venturas, San Fierro, I was so excited, and then when I saw that they weren't in the game, I was, I'm not going to lie, that was kind of a real big letdown for me. But the game was, it's still fun, but it's just, you know, that was a real letdown, I was really hoping that they would have brought it back in this game. And then if not, like at least in the DLC and online or whatever, but they gave us K.O. Perico instead. The future. Whoa! He did the thing! <laughs> the Life Invader mobile device. What? Yes, we've invented day. something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now wow. you're going to stay docked 24 7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Dock, 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 dock. We went to the guys. I had to stop drinking because he said that. Now you deserve oh, this. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh, God. oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! Get what you deserve, dude. I'm sorry. But facts are facts. After that comment, I had to make the call. I didn't want to listen to it anymore. Puff up clear. It took us a minute. We were enjoying bibs. <laughs> I mean, that's what we do at, at these kinds of stations, Lester, you know? That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm he watching the He knew what was going to happen. What do you mean? I'll be pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Have a minute. Yeah. I'll take a look. Yeah. All right. He wants us to wear a suit. Here you go, Mike. Um, the fuck was that? Did you hear that explosion? What was that? There you go, Mike, dude. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. I like it, dude. My man, Mike. Michael DeSanta, ladies and gentlemen. All of Rise. And acknowledge your tribal chief. <laughs> oh boy, it just drove in the stones. I just got them done, Michael. Jeez, man. All the money we just put into this. Out the drain, homie. All right. Let's go for a ride. I'm going home already. I miss it so much. We're going to be a backer in her. 
Oh yeah, Mike, that was Smith. Come on. Uh, Cyberpunk says, I wish we could have the cheat code saved onto our phones like in GTA 4. I mean, that, that would be cool. That was a nice little thing. Until you, like, you accidentally click the 6-axis controller fucking tutorial thing and they just put you in it because, you know, you're trying to quickly enter your cheat. Yeah, I used to, I used to use cheats after I did my first playthrough and I was like alright we'll see what it's like with cheats like with all these different weapons and stuff had a lot of fun with it but ultimately I do like playing these games without cheats it's a lot more fun you know when you have somewhat of a challenge but it's not that bad the, the, like Grand Theft Auto is not a hard game I can't believe you did that. That's my Same with Red Dead. Like, you don't need cheats you. for that. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Damn. Is that what you want to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Yeah, Michael. Wait. What kind of guidance is this? I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. By well, smashing his fucking TV? You, like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry, son. I, 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 sorry. Don't, I don't mean to be an asshole. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, cool walks. things. Play ball. You know, Go for time. walks and play ball ride, like then. old play man ride. things, even though you're young. A bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. I didn't say anything about bike rides, I said walks, Jimmy. Got a little bit of a chill here, we'll sorry. Sorry. Christian! <laughs> okay. Excuse me. You know, I did not eat today. I'm I'm so bad. I didn't even eat today. I just jumped right into the live stream. Because I was starting late. And I felt bad that I was making you guys wait. Because I know you guys have been waiting all week. But I had, I just, you know, had some things I had to do. And I enjoyed my time out with Nicole, you know. That's what it's more so about. Is any moment I could get with Nicole, I'm going to take it. Because oh, our time yeah, gets yeah. limited, especially yeah, like these past the two weeks, like both of us have been working like crazy. So we didn't really get all that much time. Me. So Seriously, I'm going to take guys, little coffee dates and going out and getting some errands done. So, and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was a really good me, day. You know, it was a beautiful all day right. outside, so it makes it even better when you can have, like, all the windows down, down in the car, the sunroof open, you know what I mean? You think I'm gonna let some Those are beautiful. My son? Look, oh, God! Because we're running we're in the shadows right of the night! The night. <laughs> I always thought I was the good guy. So God, Jimmy, take Michael's hand tonight. You're the good guy. Yeah. And we'll hey, ride bikes I into the night. The people get in the way. Into I the like, end. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. <laughs> and I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to ask. Extreme. A person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well. I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are at the bike rental place. Sans says the Age of 14 recluse like mission is hard. It re no, it is, dude. It is. Um, excuse me, Jimmy. You're trying to get a head start. I mean, I understand that you got a little bit more weight hey, than you. me. Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. I'll take the fucking, uh... The the pier, I'll take the Huffy. Cause we're running with the 
Damn it. Actually, it's not a waste of life when you're having a father-son moment, bitch. Just cause you ain't out there with your kid don't mean that you can criticize Christian. You're looking at father of the year right here, bitch. People, man. Don't have no manners in, in this fucking place. Just trying to have a moment with my son. As I'm like a million miles ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a father-son moment. Yeah, where's your son at? Oh, he's right here. Oh. James? You didn't even know your son wasn't behind you? What kind of father are you? I'm a great one. Hitting them bongos. I never realized that guy was ever there, though. In all the time playing this game, I never realized that there was a guy standing there playing the fucking bongos. Shit, James is gaining on us. Kinda. Oh! <gasps> Actually, I'm winning this race, bitch. So... <laughs> so fuck you. Looks like you're buying your old TV. It would have been you the know, best real nice, Dad. Easter egg if it showed Jimmy playing GTA San Andreas, dude. Oh, dude, that would have been awesome. I agree. That or like Vice City, since you know GTA 6 is gonna take place in Vice City. That would have been like a real nice Easter egg to be like, this is gonna be your next location too, to the next game. But missed opportunity. Hey Rockstar, you wanna hire me? I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. Whoa! Whoa! It's all happening right out there. Listen. What? That boat? Oh, jeez. Like you don't tell your father this kind of thing. You know the kind of boat. The one that makes a young, impressionable <laughs> girl drop her pants and spread her legs. <laughs> you fuck. You devious ah, little Dad, bastard, wait. you. Oh, Dad, no! Whoa, hey. <laughs> Whoa, hey, wait. Oh, look at the underwater, dude. Oh, man, this is such an underrated feature in the game, too. Is, like, how well they done up underwater. At least in the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions. As, like... The PS3 versions, like, it was so plain Jane. But now here on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions, they, they really did it up. And this is why I say it feels more complete. Even got, like, the underwater, like, creatures like stingrays, sharks, all different kinds of fish, whales, dolphins. We got the legendary giant whale out there, too, that you could see. <laughs> that new Assassin's Creed is a good one, says Jordan. Assassin's Creed. You know, I looked into, um... What was it? The Assassin's Creed Black Flag, that orbital. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. You know, suggesting it, it looked pretty good, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I think that would be one that I would play. I think that would be a fun playthrough. So, you know, maybe one of these days we'll look into, you know, purchasing it. I watched a short video on it and I thought it was pretty dope. Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so much. Okay. Nah, motherfuckers. I'm about to sting you alive. No. God damn it. Go. Should we kill him or should we keep him alive? Shit, they're coming after us. Go into the outlet. If you say so, Trace. 
Oh god. Oh god, look, they're shooting at us! I know, which is fucked up because you're on the back, which means you're more in inclined to get shot. You shoot my daughter, you son of a bitch, I will. If I see one bullet hole in my daughter, you're dead. Can't we all just get along? Going to hit me, you yeah, exactly. Oh. I can't I had sex with you, you, you did what? Tracy, you did what? Go, go, go. All right. Oh my God. Oh God. Kept them alive. Oh my God. Oh, this is the worst. You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back. See, I'm not such a bad guy. I was just there to save you from making a mistake. Okay. Those guys were jerks. No, it's not okay. You need to go to like. Not at all. You know? You need to go find something else to do, Tracy. We'll get you into acting, but we'll set you up with the right people, because you know Hollywood's fucked up, so we're going to get you involved with the right people, that way I know you're safe. Yeah, James. Uh, Cyberpunk says hitting crush depth with the submarine in this game scared me when I was a kid. I mean, it is pretty creepy to go down that far into the depths of the seas, man. It gets so dark and shit. I understand. It, it's it's kind of creepy, but it's such an underrated feature in the game is like the depths of the seas. You know what I mean? Like, they give you a purpose to go check it out. They got, like, a lot of sunken submarine, or, yes, yeah, like, some subs and boats and planes and, you know, lots of shipwrecks and a bunch of other things, man. I think it's, it's done really well. I, I spent a lot of time under the water when I first started this game. In fact, the very first thing that I did when I went into free mode, like after that first mission, was I came straight to the water and swam out into the ocean and got eaten by a shark. Hola. Hello. Got the dude up here playing the guitar. Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> who's this? It's Ricky from I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want him to just run away. <laughs> oh, I was I just no trying to, you know, about. stare at him. I'm used what to like Red do Dead, where you can bro. like, anyway, you know, Jay really got interact a big with people. Once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need oh, work. God, I'm so sorry, Ricky. I didn't think about that, man. I you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. I guess you are. Michael, you're not that hard to find. Look, it's Jade Cargill. We saw Ricky Starks in this game before. <laughs> Man, I really wish I remember what live stream that was. Because it was like hilarious. We were in the middle of a mission and we like were running through that spot. And I was like, oh my god, look guys, it's Ricky Starks. <laughs> 
And then there's a Chuck Palumbo look-alike, too. Yeah, build up that stamina. That way we can race Marianne and not have to worry about it. You have run out of stamina. Pushing your body any harder will cause you to lose health. Yes, because I am out of shape. Ooh, look at this car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is your new car, Michael. Yes. Carry on my wayward son. All right, Mike. Uh, oh, that's right there. That's where Jesus is. We can find Jesus. Oh, shit. I need to stop at home, grab a suit. Oh, baby, get on down. I said, ooh, get on down. Hey, oh, oh no, get creased in my car. Even though this is this is more like a Copeland car, oh, then Copeland when he arrived in AEW, wasn't this the car like he did the promo with? If Gibbo was here, he would he would tell me. Tell me. But that man's passed out. I did start late. Oh god. Oh, but dude, this it's kind of fun being back in GTA, like going back and forth between GTA, Red Dead. You know, it's pretty dope. But since I have both games installed on the PlayStation, like, it's taking up, like, all my storage. So then I gotta, like, transfer this version onto the hard drive. And then transfer... The PlayStation 4 Daddy's version home. back over onto the console. <laughs> yep, daddy's home. Okay. Gotta grab our suit. Yeah, fuck Jimmy. Jimmy don't need shit. And Jimmy needs to go get his driver's license, and then Jimmy needs to get a job. And then Jimmy get a car. But until Jimmy does all that, Jimmy ain't getting shit. You understand me, Jimmy? Just always sitting around doing nothing. You no good piece of sh Trace? James? My kids are bad at me, son. And then the unused room. Anybody home? I'm just alone. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to show Amanda our our stroke here in uh, tennis, but I guess we'll we'll do that another time. Okay. Adrenaline in the soul. Probably gonna buy. What is that? Red Dead for Nintendo Switch? 
I would recommend it. What, like Red Dead 1? I can't see because of the fucking little heart thingy in the chat. Like, if I was going to react to my own live stream. Like, come on, man. If I'm going to react, I'm reacting right now. Like, everybody can see my reaction. Me as the streamer doesn't need that. Okay, let's fill it up with a bunch of hearts. Shit. Wasn't even close, Mike. We've had closer calls today. A lot closer of calls. Oh my god. Like that. We almost hit the pole. Oh, sir. I had the light to go. It's California driving right there, folks. Hi, Mom. Oh. Targeted. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Jeez. He just walked in the way. Now, I'm going to run over any moron that's going to just walk right in my way, though, in this game. You walk right in the path of me coming. I don't care if you're on the sidewalk. <laughs> Wait a minute, sir. This is my safety. I was on my safe zone. Will someone call the cops? Uh, yeah, too late. All we know is it was like a, a black car. That, that's it. We didn't get the uh, license plate numbers or anything, unfortunately. Come on now. Oh! Alright, crest. Let's let's talk to Lester. Let's go scope out the jewel store. And then uh that'll probably be it. Adrenaline in Michael Soul. Oh shit, that's right. I forgot that I wasn't going to his house. Oops. Man, look at that. Anyway. Whoa! The fuck? Must be the guy the cops are chasing after. Sheesh. Well, he got away. Just so you know. Oh, God. Okay. We have arrived. Those who arrive survive. Whew. Terrible. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Right, 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 right. Right, right. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Has Whoa, been... man, that's too big of a fucking project, I man. I just needed a little bit of money because I just need to house. fucking we'll pay off a little thing, man. Which Mexican? Martin with Razzo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh. I met him, he was charming. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, um, yeah, uh, super charming. Hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round <sighs> up some of the old guys. There 
are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City. Hmm. Yeah, he went quiet. Nico. The name's Nico. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts? I like to go not? bowling. I've been working with someone, but <laughs> they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Man, the the fucking reflections are pretty fucking clear in this version. I feel like they weren't we're that clear in the Portola. PlayStation 4 version. Like you could tell like they were there, but damn. That was clear. Okay. FIB buddy I see you, Rockstar. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the Dude, the only reason I got the full like version again well, for starters, was because I got Windows this game plus uh, another game no, for the price of be the best cover. In most one game. Don't transfer five well, actually, less than one game. Bank account every month. The so they both were like on a major discount, fronts, but the trail is there. and Posits, well worth it. Draws, the same oh every God! Each Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career except for one incident: the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Very impressive, Luster. I'm very impressed. You know how Look, to do your research. Time. Take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run yeah. the car while you're in the store getting what Tammy and her crew use these all the time. They're fitted with a camera. Okay, let's get this done. Alright, we're going in. He's talking about our GTA Online character, Lester. He's talking about Nico. The Russian who was up in Liberty City, because Nico robbed the uh, the jewel store. Sir, thank you. In uh, in GTA Four. It was awesome. So that was like their little Nico okay, that's Easter the egg. Can you give me an air vent in one of the cameras? The shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vents check. Hello. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we My need name's know. Michael. Hey, beautiful. I'm looking for some beautiful jewelry. But one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Cause Christian needs to buy God. something for the Mother Wayne. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe ten grand. Our rings start at eight. Our pendants start at twelve. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelical logo here? <laughs> <laughs> We use perfect Oh, uh, no, no, tools. no, sir. No, these these careful, things will last for a whole lifetime. And then right. sub. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around. Think about it. Come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Mm -hmm. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, now he's gonna make us drive around. So we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Okay. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. I like to go bowling. Aha! Look, look construction. There. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Lester, they they got other cars parked in my spot. All right, go to the roof. All right, well let me park. Even though I I'm doing something very illegal. This job is only half I'm done. Parking. Get some images of the roof, Shut up! Please. I'm trying to back up as far as I can because we're. Really close to that fire hydrant. 
The legal procedures. There you go, Mike. So you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After him the being Trevor? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out Trevor of the never dies. There should be a unit above the store. Go. I know where that he is. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? No, the he's alive, dude. On the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? Can I you take me It looks like the highest on point is on the northwest yeah. side. Get a shot from there. Oh. <sighs> You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. Got We've it. Got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Someone spots you up there. We'll do. I'll just tell him that uh, I lost my cat. And I'm looking for my cat. Oh shit. Whoops. Oh, who's that man up there? I'm, I'm just looking for my cat. Come over tonight and watch Fame or Shame. See ya. If you take any longer, you're risking blowing this whole thing. Shh. Fine, Lester. I'll just jump through the little window slot there and just face plant right in front of your face. And then what? Would you feel guilty for rushing me then? Probably not. Oh, Here, take your glasses he's back. gonna be just like Let's me go now. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. <laughs> so, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause oh, unreal man. Okay. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them. We could do this Security hit easily, guys. He won't want that. Move. Alarm systems linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window. Someone talented hacks it. Oh. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets was bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. Yeah, About the right. Room. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Franklin. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work. His name's Frankenberry. He ain't an amateur. Come on Where now. He is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. He's a good one, Les. Gotta bring in the Les. The... The less fortunate, because sometimes they're going to pay off. And then this kid turns out to be a fucking gem in the rough. Or a diamond in the rough, sorry. Nice to see the methods. Oh, man. Well, we got to figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So, yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right. Not for a pro. Mm hmm. <laughs> Well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. All right. It's time to set this baby There's up. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're going to be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. 
The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. Oh. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The we got this. You pick will of course source some bikes. You come out of the store. No worries. All right, Luster, shut up. Let me, let me pick. Let me pick. Let me pick. Let me pick my people. All right, I want okay. my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right. Yeah. If you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. Bro, so you have no you idea. This? Run into the front door or try to play it smart. We'll play yeah, it smart. You're wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the. I've won them. Ah, okay. I'll take this his one's money. Blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Well, Guns. if he drops now anything, quiet, I'll so this take guy it. Shouldn't make much difference. Norm. Um, I gotta Just have at Mona. least one good He's guy on the crew. Not much else to say. Hacker, back off oh this man! This is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Mm. Christian! This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. No, Mike. No, we're going with Paige. <laughs> good, feminine. Fuck touch. yeah! This she'll be able to find any back doors Paige, they got. Paige, Paige, if you're happy, Paige, Paige, I'll start Paige. making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas okay. van. I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. <laughs> I'll call you. Yeah. And then the look on their faces when they see that Mike is back, they're gonna be like, No. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Michael is back. He's back. And he's better than ever. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. It's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I got to get hold of the money for that house we pulled down. So, well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful and the risk will be high. But you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. But I guess I got well, to start somewhere. Well, it needs to be. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So yeah, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit like back you said, my buddy Lester it's gonna be a good learning details. curve for you here, Frank and Barry. I think you need to take it, get a little bit of that taste, of the title, just a little taste. Okay. But the thing is... We're gonna save that... Until the next time. Touch me! Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Mike, you... The Dieter Sack store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Uh... Let me think about it. Uh... Yeah. yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. Screw you, my Yeah, I'm not trying to the help this dude. Out of your account. My account? Yeah, no. Nah. help me! This crazy guy's smacking the shit out of his girlfriend. I don't know what to do. I think he's gonna kill her. You know what? I don't believe you. You don't sound frantic enough. So I'm gonna keep on going. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Well, with that being said, guys, I think uh, this might be a good stopping point. So that way we could start off with ourselves a nice little uh, 
heist to start off our next live stream. I had a great time. I had so much fun playing, guys. You have no idea how much fun this was. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope each and every single one of y'all have a great rest of your day or night. Just whatever it is for you guys. I just hope that's a great one. I hope you all stay safe, stay sane, and most importantly, stay healthy. I'll see you all in the next live stream. And as always, around these parts, we have zero fear, baby. Our buddy Penta, he says it all the time. And he says it the best. Settle. Peace and good night. <laughs>